I'll just, I'll, I'll pretend that I did that on purpose. I'll pretend that I muted myself on purpose. Not the greatest start, but anyways, yeah, welcome. Some some good viewers said before, which hopefully can help kickstart things back on the channel. Uh, I'll be giving away some prizes and all that, obviously, as you can tell. I got a lot of people to send through quizzes because we don't have any ready, so we won't give away the biggest prizes yet. I might just start off with a practice run. Um, so if you haven't sent me, because the thing is, if you haven't sent me the link of your quiz, I can't play it yet, so I'm just going to have to go over the other ones that I got sent. Um, I'll have a look right now. I've got... Also, hit that like button right now if you haven't already. Um, can I, yeah, I guess a shout out can be a thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. if you win this one, I can give away a shout out, sure. Um, I'll show you guys what I have. So these are my, um, these are the ones I've put in a spreadsheet. I've got a few more. But the good ones I'm not gonna do right now. So let's let's just do a random. Well, um, let's do one of football signs ones because he's, he's created four, right? So or three. So this one is stadium seats guessing. So this is yeah, hopefully gonna be a good one. I, th I know his cahoots are pretty decent, so I'll paste that in and we'll see if we can actually. Get into it straight away. Um, so what you will actually will put now playing football signs. Um, well, we'll probably go for three hours, I'd say at least, depending on how well the stream performs. Um, but normally with Kahoot streams, the viewers go fairly decent. Like it's a it's a good start, but we're hoping we can build it up as it as it pans around. So if if you've got people that might enjoy this stream, go send them a link. We want to maybe push to 28.4k subs. I remember one Kahoot stream I genuinely put, I, I gained like 300 subs. I'm not sure if it'll happen again, but anyways, let's uh, let's start this one, and I'll, I'll I'll give it a go as well. I actually like to take part in, my, in the quizzes that um, are hosted as well. So the prize is just going to be uh, yeah nothing nothing really, just a shout out or whatever people want. Um, Will there be prize in the first hour? Yeah, pr probably, because you probably would expect the most viewers to be in around the first hour, apart from, uh, as opposed to just building into it. So 415-5091. So there's the code. Um, let's maybe get to 300 before we start, viewers. But again, it doesn't really matter too much. So how do you join? Pretty easy, mate. You just put in... You've, you've played Kahoot before. If you haven't, well, just whack it in the um, browser and then the pin is right there 4155091 and I'll do the same thing it's a little bit challenging hosting whilst playing it at the same time but I'm sure I can do a pretty good job and I'm trying to read as, as most of the chat that I can but it's difficult when I've got a few more people in Marto's in chat go Cuddy how are almost a full year one more month mate I appreciate I appreciate a lot so football signs is the person that has made this one. So go and go and get around him. 171. Holy shit, we got 175 people in this quiz. So we've got almost the exact, well not almost the exact, but quite a close amount of people from who we are watching to who we are playing. Uh, will you be sitting for the... I actually don't know. Um, but yeah, I forgot. I actually did announce that in my tips video. And I've actually gotten a few messages about it as well. Probably like... I don't know. Maybe maybe even the Crows cheer squad. I'm not sure. Maybe not cheer squad, but like, I don't know. Um, Alright. There's me. I'm not sure if anyone else has already... Some of these names are a bit questionable that's for sure we'll start when we get to no we'll start now actually oh, now there are still people joining though that's the thing like i'm actually kind of surprised give it another minute and then future games not going to give too much of a lenience as well we'll give it another minute if it ticks over 300 we'll start i've uh had quite a few streams in the past where I've done cahoots where my laptop's lagged badly and I've raged. So we're hoping this isn't one of those streams. 
Um, fast edits. Cheers, mate. All right, let's let's just start it now. I think it's enough time. I refuse to believe 224 individual people have joined, but maybe there are actually 225. You can join as the um, quiz goes on. So let's let's give it a go. I hope that I can make it to the leaderboard at least once or maybe be a winner. All right, let's start. Which Oval Stadium seats are these? Um, I will guess... Um, why would not it let me guess on the... I reckon it's glitched out already. I'm not letting me guess. Finally. The answer is Giant Stadium. People want Heritage Bank. Heritage Bank Stadium, well, Metric on. They've got the red seats. I, I did guess that correctly. Um, I could tell from the... Um, you didn't make the image as small, but it doesn't matter because it was actually... It made it more difficult. So it was actually a good question. All right, Lachlan Calder. Good start for him, mate. You went Heritage. Which AFL Stadium seats are these? I would suspect that's relatively easy, but at the same time, it could be... No, I think I know. I think it should be a pretty easy one. T try not to reveal the answer in chat. But you can if you, I guess you want to, but like... Make it more challenging for other people. The answer is the MCG. Of course, with 143 people, including myself, I'm 54th place behind someone called Luke. So, haven't got one right... Wrong yet. Chris the champ on top. Was that spreadsheet all the codes you have or just some? Well, all the ones I've put in, I've probably got more. Alright, this one. I'm going to go GMHBA. But then I don't want to give away what I have to say because if people just copy what I have to say, then it defeats the purpose, right, doesn't it? Um, for those who are playing this quiz, let me know if you've gotten all of them correct so far. Should probably have them all correct. I'm now 44th behind someone called Ryder. Uh, we've got Total Joker in the top five as well, and Luke McMahon in third. So it all matters about getting in quick. Which AFL stadium seats are these? Um, well, shit, that's a more difficult one. I'm going to go TIO Stadium. Oh, because there's a little bit of delay. Um, let me just quickly have a look at the stream delay. Yes, we've got ultra low, so that's all good. Teo Stadium. Surprised that a lot of people got that one right. I thought more would go maybe, I don't know, Bluntstone or Manuka or whatever, but no, they all went Teo, so good stuff, good stuff. I am now 19th place, so I reckon I can definitely get top five if I can get them all right here. Um, uh, this one's easy, although it's, it's too zoomed out, I reckon. So you could tell without just looking at the seats. Pretty easy one, that one. Been to nearly eight, all footy stands in the country, so should be doing better than... Yeah, well, I've been to most as well. I've actually got a ranking stadium video coming out relatively soon, because I've been to, like, most of the stadiums in the country. The only ones I need to go to are the ones in Tassie, and so pretty much all states that I've attended, I've been to all their grounds... Um, but then like Tassie and Northern Territory, I haven't attended, well, for starters, the, I haven't been to those states or territories and I haven't been to any of the grounds there. I've actually gone down a couple spots there. I'm still 19. Most people got the one right though. Yeah, but people, you do realize can answer wrong. Um, now this one is a more challenging one for sure that I think I've gotten incorrect. This is the most challenging one, I reckon by far. What about the Gabba? Well, we haven't gotten to the Gabba. I have attended the Gabba, though. I've actually got a video on the Gabba coming out soon. I've got to correct. Oh, I've got to correct. I didn't want to say to anyone because I didn't want people to steal my answer. So now I'm sitting sixth. Marto, I saw him in the uh, the top five. Um, I'm not sure why people have their names as Nick Day across Brisbane Lions. Just have your name as your genuine name. Don't you want to shout it? I mean, don't really understand the, the reasoning behind that. Um, now, this one... For a second there, I was actually going to go to the MCG. Didn't realize it's certainly not the MCG. Uh, yeah, these streams normally do pretty well, Dylan. That's why I thought I'd bring them back, the uh, Kahoot streams. But I can't do them every, every, to every time. Otherwise, well, for starters, they're just not going to be as good because there won't be any any preparation that goes into it. But also, 
Oh, the SCG. I actually went Adelaide Oval. I, I messed that one up badly. All right, for, that, that actually could could be make or break. Might not make it to the top five now after that. I want the Adelaide Oval. That wasn't even that difficult. All right, this one. A bit more difficult, I feel like, than the previous one that I got wrong. Um, but it doesn't show the questions. It should code it. Yeah, it should show the questions. Did you hear someone want to change their logo? Yeah, I did. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and chat about that. I'm not, not the biggest fan, of, I don't think. Masked out incorrect. So, Fido on top. I'm 14th. I don't think I'll make it to the top five unless we get a few really difficult ones and I can get those ones right. Marto, 234 though, in the top four. Does there, someone that is deserving a bit of a shout out if he uploads again. Uh, this one's an iconic one. Should be very, very easy, I feel. This stadium was actually mentioned previously as well. So get this one wrong. Well, get this one wrong and you're an idiot. Another clue. I was at this stadium not long ago. Yep, everyone pretty much got that one right. With a few that probably just didn't know. Or, I don't know. I actually can't. I, there's no reason behind getting that one wrong. Very easy. Um, some of the some of the photos are small for some reason. That one's a slight bit difficult, I guess, because of just that area of the ground. I feel, but you can tell. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show. I've got like a, a whole overview. There are a few ones that I want to wait. Um, so maybe in the next one I can give away like a um, a, a wild card or something. Possibly for the next one, or maybe the one after. I don't, I'm not sure. If we can get maybe through one every 15 minutes, we've probably got like 10 plus in us. Uh, Adelaide Oval was the correct answer, so I'll move to ninth behind Jezza. Mato 234 in second place behind someone called Fido, whoever the hell that person might be. And you know what I will do? Just in case anyone wants to try and cheat um, by typing in the URL, I don't. I really doubt anyone would do that, but just in case. We will do that. All right. Four more to go. Oh, we've had cheaters all the time last time. Um, fuck, I don't know which one this is. This is a bit of a guess, to be honest. It's certainly a stadium I haven't been to before. It's not the Gabba, I don't think. We already had the Gabba. And it also... It just doesn't give me Gabba vibes. It was Bluntstone, and I got it incorrect. I guessed Utah, so... I've never been to Bluntstone, so maybe that's why. So now I'm 26. Yeah, you get a couple questions wrong, you're pretty much screwed. Needed to get at least that one right. Um, this one's easier. This one's certainly easier, in my opinion. You went to Blundstone. Blundstone, Blundstone, Mars, Utahs. Yeah, this one, I think, is relatively easy. Did you use any of my ideas? Well, I didn't um, I didn't make any of these quizzes. Because obviously, I don't have the time to make 20 of them when I could have people do it instead and can get a shout-out out of it and all that. So, football signs... Very much so. Go and uh, check them out. Which AFL stadium seat to these? Um, Jesus Christ. Which stadium seat to these? I'm actually going to go left field here and go Adelaide Oval. But I don't remember there being any part of the Adelaide Oval with seats like these. But I, I don't know. This actually could be... Oh, it's heritage. All right. That's... um. Well, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't ring... Ring a bell when I saw it first. That was a shit guess, though. Last one. Don't know why it went out of late oval. Don't care the hot game that he's there. Um, well, now that the... Jesus Christ. Is, is it the Gabba or is it Optus? Because we haven't had Optus yet, so why do I feel like it might be Optus? It's because I think it is Optus. Yeah, it is Optus. Uh, I finished 43rd. 
Not amazing. I might actually screenshot every every placing I come, and then we'll have a look at the top five here, which will get put onto the leaderboard. So your name will get a bit of a shout out. Fido finished in third. So actually, we might not get anyone 14 out of 14. Who finished first? Oh, it was, Ma it was Mardo! It was Mardo! Fucking up. All right, well, we're going to have to put that onto the uh, the leaderboard. Mardo 234 is the first winner, which means that we give we have to obviously give him the... Uh, we'll, we'll do a shout-out. We'll, we'll put his channel name um, on the social blade. So... There you go, Mardo234 is the first winner. <laughs> He's in chat, that's definitely him. Not like I ever thought it wasn't, but that proves that it is him. Um, let's update the Kahoot leaderboard now. So Mardo234, finishing first. Um, Mitch Loves Foot, a weird name, not sure why that's your name, mate. It's a bit of a concerning one. Not sure why. Or does that mean it might be footy? Actually, I'll put footy there. I genuinely thought it was foot. I would have been concerned. And then the top five, we had another couple people as well. Let me just put them in. Jados Muzza. Not sure. I think I've heard of the name Muzza. Heard of some Muzza on on one of my streams. And then ET's AFL. All right, well, let me know if you uh, managed to sneak into the top five. Put a W in chat if that was you. And, of course, I'll get people putting Ws in who didn't finish top five. But, yeah, whatever. I don't really care. All right, let's go back to the... Um, so, this is the spreadsheet. I can zoom in a little bit. What do we want to give a go next? We might do a, a prize. We might give away... Um, I reckon we'll do two lots of three packs of team coach. Maybe we'll do like three packs of team coach. If you don't, like, I, I, I know not everyone gives a shit about footy cards. So you can, you can opt 10 something. I can transfer you 10 bucks if you really don't want it. But I figured three packs of footy cards is the next prize. So which one should we do? There are a couple that I'm saving for the bigger prizes, such as this one that Summer sent me. Um, it was like a 22 question quiz that she definitely... I think spent more time on compared to a lot of these other ones. I'll say that they didn't. So maybe give me a um, suggestion. I feel like AFL... Uh, what is the fucking... Okay, I'm just going to ignore that because we're into the next game. I see a lot of teams... All right, Sarah Jenkins then. I, I'm not sure though if this is going to be that easy of a... Uh, no, I mean like it probably will be too easy, but sure. If you really want that to be the, um, the quiz we play, then sure. And we'll put Mardo's channel link as well. So we'll have that up for a couple minutes. The pro So get your mates in. We want to maybe see if we get 400. Um, this is actually a half decent one. I'm not sure how many questions are, but it actually looks a lot, uh, much better than I thought it initially was. So now we're playing Sarah Jenkins quiz. I'm not sure if that... If we get to 400, I'll open a pack of footy cards. I've got a pack of footy cards right here on stream. I'll open it if we get to 400. Um, classic mode, play with up to 1,000 people. It will not be a problem because we're not going to get more than 1,000, are we? Certainly not. The winner is three packs of footy cards. Send the link to any mates that you think might want to win some footy cards. Get them to subscribe to the channel. If you can do that, if you can share it around, that will be bonus points. Um, where's yours? Um, it's, it's there, is it? If not, the thing is though, I don't think we'll play all of them on stream. So I, I, we could do another stream another time. And then that's where we, we, um, we get those ones, um, sorted. But anyways, for now we'll play this one. So for example, people like Ethan Crouch, it's not that big of a stress if you don't want to send it right now or if you can't. Uh, have we got 400 yet, Lockie? I mean, almost. If we get to 400, we'll open a pack of footy cards. We'll give it a couple of minutes because I still need to put Mardo's YouTube channel on the screen. So everyone go and subscribe to Mardo234 because he was the last winner. 
And he makes some pretty good footy and cricket videos. So we'll chuck up his channel. So remember, shout outs can be given to winners. Um, let's quickly do that. All right, Mardo, two, three, four. Um, where do we chuck this? Holy shit. Someone chuck uh, Mardo's channel link in chat. And if the Ashes is starting in four minutes, put an F in chat if we should put the Ashes scores um, in or on the screen as well. 400 in chat. That's great to see. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Mardo. Um, and we can open a pack of footy cards as well. So we'll do that in a couple minutes. Make sure to join. I'll also join myself. So this is for three packs of footy cards. And let's just say I win. What we'll do, actually, if, if I win, or if someone elects not to want to keep the prize, apparently there's a rain delay. Well, that's all right, because it doesn't mean I'll miss as much. Um, what I'll do, right, is I'll extend it to six packs for the next quiz. So go and, yeah, sub to Mardo, because let's, for, for example, if you win the, the quiz and then you, and then you end up um, wanting a shout out, well, subscribe to the person that won the last one because then they'll do it back to you, I feel. So that's just good. You don't have to, obviously, but it's a gesture that I feel is um, quite nice. So I'll have to join now quickly. So give me a moment to do it myself. The pin is 7321317. My nickname will be Cardman22. So do not try and steal that. Um, and then I will open the pack of footy cards quickly as well. We did hit 400, so we'll open the pack. See what we get. We'll go from the back, actually. Why not? So, Bolter, Tim English, Darcy Moore, Mimi Hill. Let's see what we get. Lockie Neal, and a star powers of Nick Martin for the Bombers. So we can open another pack. I've only got one more pack to be honest with you to open. And then we've got a couple of Bombers car. Bombers and an Adam Scherer. All right, let's give it a go. Well done to everyone who subscribed to Mardo. He's gained a good 50 to 60 subscribers from that. So you get your uh, you, you get good value out of the, um, the shout outs, I feel like, on these streams. That is for sure. I'm not sure how many questions we've got in here, but we'll have a look. We've got 12 questions. Let's get into the second quiz of the night. And the first question, what AFL players made the most AFL games? Out of this lot... I will, I'm going to go side bottom, but to be honest with you, it's a bit of a difficult one. I thought it was in history, but it's, it's obviously not in history. It's, 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 um, out of this list, it'd have to be right. Unless this person really got a question wrong. Still side bottom. All right. Good start. I'm on 29th. Put a W in chat if you guess still side bottom. It's not in history. It was never going to be in history. Sydney Swans have won 10 premierships. True or false? I'm going False. Um, so many teams have worked out our game plans is fidget. Good to know, mate. Good to know. What the F is this? What do you mean, what the F is this? It's a true or false question. Oh, shit. Um, I don't think that's true. Well, you're always going to get mistakes in, in quizzes. We'll do ratings of 10 for the next one, but that's kind of annoying. So the people that that didn't know that question have actually gotten a reward out of that. That's kind of frustrating when people make the uh, mistakes like that, but oh well, hopefully they don't make many more, if not any. Most wooden spoons, unfortunately, I know the answer to that. Remember, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel or like the stream, do that right now. G'day, Jimbo. Yeah, the answer's Saints, right, isn't it? Yeah. Too many people got that one right, unfortunately. I'm in 46th place behind Zaki. Um, remember, if you do want to shout it all out, have your full name in so people know who, who you are. What AFL team won the Premiership in 2000? Um, that's easy. It's pretty easy, that one. Oh, is this with the South Melbourne as well? Yeah, I know it's with South Melbourne as well, but I know they haven't won 10. They haven't won 10. 
unless I really am stupid. But no, even everyone in chat can agree that that wasn't the case. So someone called Cardi 2.0 has bumped up. Luke McMahon has also managed to get himself fourth, luckily with that crappy question. So that's why we want to play the more difficult quizzes. It's not, not too easy. What was the last team to join the AFL? Um, well, it's a shit question as well because the answer is technically Giants. But we'll go. We'll have to go Gold Coast. Of the, of the amount that he's put in there, I guess the last was the Suns. When does the next one start, Scoops? It starts in, oh, I'd say, six, seven minutes. Six, seven minutes. This one's going to be finished quickly. The winner will get... Oh, how, how are we going to give, like... If, for example, if someone names himself Nick Dacos, so I might not even just give you the win. I might, like... If it's, if it's not your channel name, you're not getting the win. We're going to do that from now on. If it's not... The name that you you have in chat, then how the hell are we supposed to know it's you? Or you can put your Instagram, you can put whatever you want. I really don't care. Most members. Um, I'd assume Collingwood. But I actually thought the... I thought it would have been West Coast. Because I swear I've heard that from another thing. Um, but it's, I'm going Collingwood, though. I thought it was West Coast, but... Um, it is Collingwood, so... Whoever AFL star is. Oh, I just realized AFL star is the person that made this quiz. You can't... Yeah. You can't, you, you, you can't win your own quiz. You can't do that. So I'm not, I'm not counting AFL star. AFL star is the person that made this quiz. I'm pretty sure. What year did St. Kilda join the AFL? Uh, what the fuck are you doing, mate? What are these questions? Oh, that's, I, I had a feeling this wasn't going to be the, the quiz that I wanted to play. I don't know. I guess you just have to guess here. It's a pretty, pretty average one, isn't it? 1990. Or is it supposed to be a trick question because the AFL... St no, nah, it's, it's just a poor question in general. No matter where you look at it. I don't know how football science got that one right. I don't know if it, you can call it hard or, or silly, but whatever. What team has the longest premiership winning streak in the AFL? Collingwood won four times back in the day. So if it's not Collingwood, then this is just wrong. He made the quiz wrong on purpose so he could win it. Well, he can't win it. That's silly. Uh, if, if that's actually what he tried to do, then you're, you're silly because you can't, you can't be doing that. Um, and he went Geelong... And would you believe it? He got it right. I'm going to get rid of you, mate. You can't be doing that. I'm sorry, mate. You it's, it's just against the rules for everyone else. It's not how we want to go about it. So we've gotten rid of you now. So that's what you get for doing that. Bit of karma, I feel. We just won't play another one of your quizzes because you can't be putting in obviously wrong answers and then guessing those to try and win. Which is the richest AFL club? Don't give it a prize for this one. All right, yeah, should we instead give out a prize for the one afterwards? Do a poll. And I'll, I'll actually compound it. Six packs, next prize. Or just prize here. Like, I can still, like, if you win this, you can still get a shout out. That's fine. But I prefer to do a better one for a prize. And I might actually pick one. I know which ones would be good and which ones would be bad. Because this one's a, yeah, not a bad one. Richest AFL club. I don't even know if that answer is right. Who can fact check that? Is that actually a correct answer? Because I don't even know. Um, I'm 124th behind Coast Club. You have got to be taking the piss. Of all people as well. So yeah, I don't think this is worthy of anything. Do you want me to send me? Yeah, if you want to go to HQ, if it's a good one. I'm not sure what it's about, though. Adelaide Crows was the first SA team to then to the AFL. Well, I'm actually going to go false, because I have a feeling... I reckon you play this guy's strategy. You go false, because he's probably going to get that one wrong again. I'm going to go false. I actually want to know if he's actually decided to do that. No. At this rate, I don't really care, though. Um, wow, we got Mr... B Again, though, if, you, if that's your name, you might have to reconsider it because no one's going to be rolling around with Mr. Beast. Giants have won three premierships. False. What should be true? What should say true? 
You've gone from... Yeah, I, I would almost say this one shouldn't count. It will count. Like, I'm still going to count it, right? But, like, it shouldn't count. Uh, I've sent Jersey Kahoot if you want an Insta DMs. I do have quite a few. If it's good enough, we can play that one next, actually, instead of this abomination. So let's just quickly not even bother reading into them, and we'll go into the next one. The next prize will be six packs of Team Coach. It's kind of a bit of money to cough up. Not too much, though. 20 bucks. Um, what AFL team's currently in 11th place? Well, it's Richmond, isn't it? Oh, no, it is. Oh, fuck, it isn't even. Why? Okay, it doesn't matter. Why I clicked Richmond's? Because in my ladder predictions, I had Richmond 11th. But it's not Richmond. It, it's the it's the Giants. Um, I reckon a few people probably went Richmond as well because of my ladder predictions video. It just put me off place. All right, anyways. This wasn't the best one, obviously. Um, I'll take a photo of whoever got this. Zaki. I don't, I don't even know who Zaki is. I guess we'll just... You, you get the... If you're Zaki... You got the win. Well done, mate. But I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna put up a channel link because I have no idea the channel. If you don't, if you don't have a genuine channel, there's no point. So well done, Zaki, on winning the poor quiz that that was. Now let's go on to Instagram. A few people are uh, voice code. A few people are sending in their quizzes, so. You can do that, but I won't play all of them tonight. I don't think I'll be able to. So we'll, we'll, we'll have more going um, later on. Um, but JDOT has a Guernsey Kahoot that I am intrigued and might give a go. So we're going to open link a new tab and give JDOT's Guernsey quiz a go instead. How do people like an AFL Guernsey quiz? So Zaki was the last winner there. Um, it has... 11 questions. So nice, short and sharp one. The shorter ones aren't too bad, but the big prize is for the wild cards because who wouldn't want to win a, a magic wild card or whatever? They can be um, later on down the track. So let's start this one. We've got... Uh, yeah, piss off leaf site. We'll update the... Uh, there we go. Quiz classic. We'll update the code and all that, but we'll update the leaderboard. So, Mato234 now isn't first because we are updating it based on the last game. So, Zaki finished on top with first place, getting his first win. Uh, Swan K Nebula. Okay, it's a shit, shit name. I'm sorry. Swan K Nebula 69. Hetho. Jason Prime, as if he actually finished fourth. Holy crap, how many people are joining? Oh my goodness. Steven finished in fifth place. As I said before, subscribe if you're new, share the link around. This is for six packs of footy cards. So a decent prize, I would imagine. That is for sure. So definitely, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I will join the quiz um, and we'll update the code as well. Um, it's not easy, but it's not overly hard. Well, yeah, we want like difficult ones, but that are factual or not true. Ones that require you to think hard, not just rubbish ones where the answers are wrong. Um, why won't it let me put in a code? All right, one, nine, two. As soon as I put my code in, we are starting. One, three, two, four. And, of course, someone took the username that I use, so I'll be Cardi instead. All right, who we got in chat? Who's joining this one? The winner, six packs. And if you don't want the six packs, you can trade in for, like, 20 bucks or transfer you 20 bucks. Because I know not everyone here is a footy card fan. That's fine. But we all we all like uh, footy cards here and there. All right, we'll start. I'm in this one, so hopefully I can um, do all right. For six packs, 15 questions. This one's made by J-Dodd. So actually, um, uh, which which club once wore Guernsey featuring a seatbelt? Nice question. Nice question. I know the answer. This one's actually featured on the new game, A423. The code is down below. How do we even claim the footy? Well, just... you got to... 
contact me if you've got contacts, Instagram, email, any all that good stuff. If you need parents, do that. You can get your parents to help with that. That's all fine, and I'll send the packs out later to later this week. So the answer is Essendon. I'm in 82nd place. We've got Kaysen Williamson. Um, something tells me these aren't real names. We'll, we'll find out how far these people last. Um, possibly center half forward. I've, I've got quite a few though. I, I know there's one that I will do for a for a Kahoot for a wild card. Um, from which club is this a snippet of a Guernsey from? Easy one, I think. The Suns. Yep, correct. There we go. Next up, let's see. Um, yeah, this this is a fake account. And I'm not I'm not allowing names like that, to be honest with you. Suck me, Cardi. I'm not allowing that. Don't have that as a name if you want to actually have a chance. All the goals is now on top. Essen had a rule which forces their all all of their jerseys to have a red sash. I don't know if that's true or not, but let's just click true for the sake of it because I don't actually think there are any other Essen Guernseys without a red sash. I don't know. I can't think of another Essen Guernsey that doesn't include a red sash. He's had his minute of fame. He probably wanted me to just read that out, I guess. So all the goals. Too bad the, the prize isn't Red Rooster. I've guessed true and I've got it correct. So I'm in 66 now behind Jacko. All the goals still on top. Mitch Love's footy second. One point behind him. Joey, Carlton FC, and then UCAT. But, I mean, why would you make a fake name, though? I just don't get it unless you just really don't care about the prize. So is that UCAT? I don't know because he's not in chat. Which club wants for Jagunzi featuring 26 in? Um, I'm going to go the Saints. Because we did have an away Guernsey in 2006. We had a lot of like thin strikes, but I'm not sure if that's actually um, what the Guernsey is that's in question. It could be Collingwood. It probably isn't the same. Yeah, fuck, it's Adel Adelaide. Everyone went Collingwood. Only 17 went Adelaide. Let's see who those 17 people are that got that one right. Total Joker, Jack, all the goals. All the goals starting strong. Jeez, I didn't know that. Uh, once per year, Geelong wear yellow cuffs to represent the rural culture of Geelong. I'm going to go false. They don't wear yellow cuffs, do they? I don't think they wear yellow cuffs. Mind you, don't just choose what I'm choosing, because I'm not telling you that I'm going to be right all the time, that's for sure. False, false. Is this like for the country around here, False. All the goals still on top. All the goals is honestly on track to getting this win for six packs. Uh, which club used to wear this Guernsey? Not a bad question. A bit of a throwback. I am currently sitting. Well, I'm not sure I'm sitting. I'll, I'll know after this round. And let me know where you're sitting currently after this round as well. And let's get to 300 likes, everyone. Hit that like button. Um, it is the Fitzroy line. So I'm in 21st place. I'm behind someone called Sammy Durham. Or if, if this UCAT account, because I don't think it's him, if he ends up winning, UCAT just gets the six packs and the person that put in un, put in the name under UCAT just misses out because that's just silly in my opinion. Which colours did university wear on the Guernsey's such uniforms? Uh, sh I think I know. I'm not going to say it though, because I don't think many people, or well, not everyone, would know this. So this is my my guess. Uh, yeah, there'll be more games after this one. There'll be um, six packs. Of, well, this one's a six packs with the other stuff. Blue and all right, we're eleventh now. Blue and black was correct. All the goals hasn't got one wrong yet. I don't think. I'm surprised he's actually getting all these ones correct. Which year did Fremantle rebrand and change their overall design of their Guernseys? I'm going to go 2011. I think 2011. I think. I'm not 100% sold on the answer though. Could be 2010. It's 2010. It's 2010. All right. All the girls got the one wrong. 
which means that he's not... Ch AFL Legends in third place. All right. 9 of 15. What color does Carlton ch change their cuff sleeves to support gender equality? Oh, this one's... Um, it's a good, it's a good quiz. This is a good quiz. I don't know what I what you guys think, but this is a good quiz. It was literally 2011. Oh, I thought it was 2011. That's why I guessed 2011, but must not have been. Um, not yellow, orange is the answer. So it's still 21st. I'm still doing okay. All the goals, Hudson, AFL legend, Romy Chaz. Whoever, the per whoever roaming Chaz could be. Which AFL club wears a pride Guernsey? I don't want to get political, but I guess give me your thoughts below on the on the, on the the pride game between the Swans and the Saints. I'd like to see what the chat have to say to that. Yeah, a few went St Kilda, but it's Sydney that actually wear the jumper. So I'm now 18th behind Has Loves Footy. All the goals still on top. Yo, brother, sorry about the low viewers. Yeah, it's all good. Um, difficult question, but I know this because I did a video on it earlier this... Last year, sorry. So I actually know the answer to this one. It's, a, it's not the easiest question, though, I don't think. Have you been watching the cricket lately? Not all of it. Nah, not, not heavily, but I'll watch it tonight for sure because it's, it's a big... Finish. Oh my goodness. I'm now in seventh place. I guess Port. And I'm now in seventh place. All the goals on top. Heatho, Total Joker, Footy Signs, and Oz Central. Four more to go. Which club wears a special edition jersey in Cavalier from the Starlight Foundation? I like the I like the question because I don't think everyone will know this. Because not everyone knows what the Starlight Foundation is. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. I won't reveal it. And try not to reveal it in the chat as well. It is Frio. I'm in sixth place though. I'm in sixth place. I'm literally just below this Tommy guy. I'm on like 90. I'm on 9108 points. So I need to. I just need to get a tough one correct. Jesus was seeds of previous and one. True. With sleeves. I'm pretty sure true. Imagine not getting that, says Blaze. Yeah, it'd be silly if you didn't get that one right. I'm pretty sure the answer's true. I hope it's not false. I hope it's not false. It's true. And I'm in fifth place. I've made it to the leaderboard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win it though, but I've made it to the leaderboard. Footy signs in the top four as well. If we're gonna make my first leaderboard appearance, that'll be pretty huge. Which retro jerseys Hawthorne decided to bring back for round? Um, oh, this is a great question. Um, I'm going the red one. The big hawk. This is a really good quiz, Jade. I, I do get around it massively. Worthy of a six-pack play. It's the big hawk, if that's what they call it. Still in fifth, but I'm still holding my spot. And I reckon all the goals is going to hold his spot on top and get the win. Um, so just message me. Or even to save the... Um, I think it's Castor. I think it's Castor. No, shit, it's New Balance. It's New fucking Balance now. Oh, no, I'm not going to hold the leaderboard. It used to be K-Store, didn't it? But I see on the bottom right, it's New Balance. It's New Balance, isn't it? No, I finished ninth. I finished ninth. I've just screwed it up. Last question: Has all the goals screwed it up? Possibly, possibly not. Um, ninth is my best best uh, placement, though. That's for sure. Football science finishes third. Well done, mate. Um, Heath though finishes second, and just winning. I don't think he got that one right, but he still had enough points to win the whole thing. It was all the goals. Can you believe that? What I will say, all the goals. I, I'd rather not send out the packs. Next St Kilda game. St Kilda v Brisbane. If you go to that game, I'll meet up sometime wherever and I'll just give them to you there. Because I don't think it's worth sending them out when I could just see you at a footy game if you're going to go to one. Um, 
if you still go to them with your broken leg. I'm not, I'm not even sure, but all the goals, gets the win, and he gets a relatively major prize. Heatho, also on the leaderboard for the second time. Football signs, first appearance on the leaderboard. Um, and then total joker. Gradually filthy with all the goals winning. Yeah, probably. And Oz Central also. So congratulations. All right, we'll go back to the um, Excel spreadsheet and we'll show you guys what we have next to offer. The next one will just be for a shout out and then the one after that, I'll give away a Magic Wild or a Star Wild. So the next one will be for a shout out to get just a bit of another practice shot. So the ones we've already played, um, we've just played this one and we've played this one. I wouldn't mind giving Bo one of our Bonnie's quizzes a go, but I'd, ra I'd rather wait for her to be on the stream to actually um, watch it happen on the stream. So who, who else would be... Yeah, it was this shit one. Can you do AFL Stadium? Says Noah Andrews. You know what? You don't add it, so... Um, we'll do Blake's guess the stadiums. He did say, though, that he wanted... Well, it doesn't matter if it's for a prize or not. We'll do it for a shout anyways. Um... Which means, Blake, you get a chance to actually play your own quiz, uh, or to play a quiz that isn't your own for a geni for a proper prize. Yeah, I'll do yours one maybe next, Ethan. Uh, we'll, we'll do a AFL Stadiums, though. There we go. So make sure you get your mates in. If you've got anyone that wants to get a shout out, you can gain a good 50, 60 subs. Marto's channel's still up there. Um, how do you do on the Kahoot? Well, it's pretty simple, mate. All you got to do is, uh, how many stay? We've got 20. I reckon it should only take like a good 10, 15 minutes though. Um, I sent you one and you said you would use it, but it's not even on the spreadsheet. Well, not all of them are on the spreadsheet because some of them I couldn't get, I couldn't find for some reason. That's not to say that I won't play it on this, probably won't play it on the stream if it's not on the spreadsheet. But I've always got more streams that I can do them, so it's all good. Yeah, go to HQO. I've seen that. Um, so the game pin. Very quick, some of these people are to this quiz. Let's try and get to 444. If we hit 450 viewers, I'll open another pack of footy cards. How about that? 450 viewers, another pack of footy cards. Um, and what I will also do quickly is I'll can you put my link into all the goals um, yeah I mean I feel like with the prizes I guess the prizes are not but I'll, I'll yeah if you've got a channel I guess only if you've got like a channel that I know of, I'll do that. So let's let's put all the goals channel in, which means um, which means you can chuck all the goals channel link in the chat. See if maybe we get them to fifty subs. Another shout out right there. Why not? Why not? Um, this is mine. Yep. I know. I've got to change all the graphics. <laughs> Alright, now I've got to join myself. Actually, yeah, quickly before I do that, give me another minute. I'm going to chuck this up on my Instagram. Just so... People know that I'm streaming. Um, I've got a few people sending through links. Just give me a minute. I'll, I'll put in through my Instagram. Just, just, yeah. Join, chat amongst yourselves. 
Can you get me to fifty? Well, if you win, maybe I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just get people. Um, shout outs just for the sake of it. That's that's not how it's going to happen. You know what? I might. I might sit out. No, I don't really know if I want to sit out for this one. I, I won't sit out for this one. I'll quickly put up my story and then we'll uh, we'll get into it. So give me another minute, quickly. Hate this rain delay. Well, let me know when the ashes actually starts up again. Also, um, quickly. If you haven't followed the Instagram yet, now's a great time to do so to get up to date. Um, everything up to date on the channel, all the um, updates, posts, stories. And I might be doing a group break soon next Tuesday, what I could be doing, I might do, I might open six box of team coach or five box of team on stream next week and then give the uh, cards away to people who have put in slots. I might reveal that as early as Friday. And then the week after that, I'll do another Kahoot stream. Um, but it might not be on the Tuesday since I'll still be in Perth, unless I do it in, U in UCAT's house on the Monday night. Actually, could we do another Kahoot, Kahoot stream Monday night, school holidays at UCAT's house? What, what, what do people like the sounds of that? That'll be in a couple weeks time though. Um, but follow the Instagram if you haven't already. There's all the goals channel as well. So go subscribe to all the goals. The Instagram's right here, cardman22. We want to see the followers go up. Um, but I'm assuming most people watching who have Instagram have already followed me. But if not, chuck us a follow because uh, it helps a long way. All right. Anyways, and we're also at four, almost at 4K also, which is um pretty good. Maybe get to 5K this year. That's I don't really have milestones for Instagram. I just got to post more, um, which I'll probably post what maybe. I'll try and post once every two weeks around that. 73795545. People ask me to start. We'll start now. I just want to join quickly. Um, remember to join as your name. If you don't join as your name, then my, my name for this one's Cardi22. So if you don't join as your name, well, you're just not going to get any reward or prizes or whatever. Do you put your YouTube name or Instagram at any? Instagram name works if you don't have a YouTube name. I, I think that's how we should go by it. If you don't have a YouTube name, just put your Instagram name. 20 questions. First question, China host hosts an AFL game. True or false? Put your questions and answers in. Charlie... Maybe. I can't promise anything, though. I might play Ethan's one next for a, a wild card. Uh, I'm not sure if Summer is in chat or not, but I'll play your one a little bit later on in the stream because it's one of the ones, I think, of the lot that... One of the better ones. So that can be for one of the major prizes. So, yeah. True is the correct answer. Let's see. 216th. So you just got to get in quick. A lot of the people, I reckon, either... like Because I don't think you can get a 1,000. Oh, there you go. You're in chat. Yeah, well, I'll let you know when I'm going to get your one going. Probably in like another um, hour, I'd say. Um, I'm going to go true. So, I'd like to see Blake join the Kahoot. I want to see how he does. I want to see how I do as well. Um, I've got a premiership predictor for Collingwood, someone says. Nice. Actually, I want to turn on these lights. You said this one was difficult though. So this better be as difficult as you've made it out to be. So far, so far it's, it's an okay one. Oh, he's doing all of them? That's good to hear. What AFL stadium is this? Uh, I, can't, I can't even goddamn see. It's going to make it even more difficult than what it already was. Need a magnifying glass for that. Yeah, no, that, that's good. Um, sent off forward. Oh, I wasn't talking about... I was talking about another Blake that you probably don't know. Um, the person I was talking to knows who I was talking about. Ross McCarthy. I don't even know who the per that person is. Con Placer in the top five. The first person that's probably legitimate. Um, what stadium is this? Good question. Good answer, Hopefully. What are we in for this one? Just a shout out. The one next will be a pr another prize. Um, 
The reason why this is mainly orientated around footy cards is because a uh, fellow subscriber sent out quite a few wild cards that he wanted me to give away. So I'm going to give away a few of them on this stream. Um, so yeah, put an F in chat if you want to win a footy card, wild card. So footy signs in the top. He's probably going to do the best because he's he knows all about this sort of stuff. I'm also doing quite well, but I'm not, I'm only answering the questions very quickly. Um, the ladies prevail. Well, this is, could be a trick question. I'm pretty sure there is a stand called that, but like he spelt it wrong. So I'm going to go false. I swear if it was a spelling mistake, not on purpose, I'll be pissed off. Please, please be a trick question. You're an idiot, mate. You're an idiot. Ladies Pavilion. Thanks for just costing my goddamn spot. I should have probably just guessed true. I knew that there was a stand called the Ladies Pavilion, but they they spelt it wrong. I thought it was a trick question. So now I'm fucked. Um, can I have your house? Well, not really my house. It's more my parents' house because I don't own it. Technically, I just live in it. I'm a little bit annoyed actually about that. Adelaide Hills, though, I got that one wrong. I'm 94th behind Flag North. And I doubt that person's channel name's called Flag North. Football signs on top after question six. What AFL stadium is this? Um, Utah's. Graham says, I have a gold trophy wild card. Gold clay, not. Yeah, I don't know if how many people know about this, but I have a gold... I got a gold Trophy Star wild card the other day, like a couple of weeks ago. It is... Yeah, let me just quickly grab it up. How much would this card be worth, do you reckon? This is like the rare, like probably the rarest card in the set. Imagine I gave that away. I'm not giving that away, because that's just not going to happen. Coast Club is in the top three. Mardo second. Because the gold variants of the Trophy Star Wilds are like, um, I would say like one in, that, that's one in a hundred boxes, I think that card, if I'm not mistaken. MCG has hosted every AFL Grand Final, true or false. This is an easy one. Surely no one gets this one. Well, you reckon six... Yeah, I reckon 500 plus. False. Yep, everyone seems to have got that one correct. Weirdly enough, I've gotten all but one correct, and I'm only 75th. Which makes me feel like this isn't the most difficult quiz. But this is a better question. Makes me have to have a look at it. $772. dollars I don't know if I'll ever sell them. Like, eventually I'll probably want to get the money right. And I've got a lot of footy cards I can get a lot of money for, but it's just like, I don't know. But like, at the end of the day, what am I going to do with the footy cards? Nothing. Just look at them. So selling them wouldn't be a bad idea. Eventually. I uh, cannot, I cannot see. Really small photos. I'm not sure if that was done on purpose or not. We're just sitting under 400. Remember, I'll open another pack of footy cards when we get back to 450. The next quiz, I'll give away a Magic Wild or a Star Wild. I'm not sure which one comes up next. Imagine giving away this. Adelaide Oval, correct. Yeah, it's hard. well, it doesn't matter, football science. You're still probably going to win. Well, maybe not. You're starting well, though. Um, but it makes it more difficult though, to be fair, having it. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to be honest with you. How much should I sell my 24k gold set for? I'm not sure what the, uh, the value of the, the 24k gold set. If you've got a gold set of all of the 24 gold cards, then that would be worth a small fortune to be honest with you um, I think this one's a relatively straightforward Kahoot a lot of people are getting questions right here 
Yeah, I know that you do AF4 Goat HQ. Also, what I might do actually, winners can get on the call for a little bit after the next game if you've got Discord. Um, from now on. I forgot to do it from before, but I feel like it's a nice little addition. A lot of people at the SCG. Coast Club is an idiot. He got the one wrong. Football Science, still on top. What AFL Stadium is this? It does have to make you look, to be honest. Like, you don't... You like, I can't answer them straight away. Jeez, there's a lot of people want the G. Yeah, definitely was the G. Misclicked. Relatively hard. What AFL Stadium is this? It's relatively... Uh, but then again, like the options. That's certainly not Norwood. Or is it Norwood? It's the old Junction Oval, isn't it? Don't tell me I fucked this one up. Yeah, okay. Old Junction Oval. I was going to say... I was going to say... Mato234 has overtaken the throne. He's on top of football signs. This is for his second win. Mato... It's not Norwood. Yeah, no one getting. I didn't. I didn't guess Norwood. A lot of people did though. Marble was originally called the Telstra Dome. False. Oh, for fuck's sakes! It it was originally called it, but it wasn't the first. I reckon I'm gonna get this one wrong, because of the way it was worded. Technically, the original, the first name wasn't, so I'm gonna get this one wrong. My bad for that one. I For fuck's sake. Now I'm tied with Jordi Pluto. Mato and football. So it's between those two, I reckon, honestly. We've got five more to go. I don't think I'm going to see them screwing up from here. Scotty used to play home games at Junction. Correct. Um... Bro, it was called Eddie Hat. It, yeah, it... Well, it was called Colonial, then it was called Telstradome, then it was called Etihad, so it's had a few names. As if all the goals could make the the, uh, the podium again. He's doing incredibly well, all the goals. What AFL stadium is this? Oh, that's Norwood, right, isn't it? I believe so. It was originally called Colonial Stadium. Yeah, that was the first name. That's why I messed up with that question, getting the other one wrong. So this one's Norwood, right? Yep, everyone pretty much got that one right. Although a lot of people that got that one right probably don't even know much about Norwood and the history behind it and, and probably have never even attended a game at Norwood. State far out, how small. Like, it's... I guess from afar, it's not the, the, the hardest one to get right. Like, a lot of people will get this one right, but like, it's very small. The Red Legs is my team. It's annoying that it is raining though, because I guess we need as much play as we can get, but it probably won't end up being a draw. I feel like you'll get a result, but depending on how much it is going to be raining. Let me know in chat. Who, who's going to get up? Mardo or Football Science? Two more questions. What stadium is this? You don't even need a... Um, have a little zoom in because you can just tell from the sunset. You can tell. Mardo will get me reckons football signs. I feel bad for Mardo. Two wins, but they're not going to be for prizes. They'll be for just another shout out. Like, he doesn't need another shout out. Teo Stadium. Mardo's going to win this. He's got another 60 points ahead of football signs. This needs to be a really difficult one, mate. Optus Stadium was open in 2018. Well, I don't think that's a very difficult one, to be honest. I won't give it away, though, but... Let's see. Yeah, no, Marto could get this one wrong. He might not know. He might not know about uh, the history of the Optus Stadium. What? Oh, yeah, shit. It was open in 2017. 
It was open in 2017. The first game was in 2018, though. So actually, that is correct. I'm just an idiot. Which means... Maybe they don't win. Football signs, second. Shouldn't matter. It won't matter. Marto gets his second victory. Well done, Marto. Well done. Marto, two, three, four, again. Um, who finished fourth and fifth? I'll have to look at the summary because I've got to have it up on the um, view full report. Yeah, yeah, i will definitely stop sharing screen. Um, I got 8, 10, 20. Open footy group. Yeah, give me a sec. Give me a second. Logos next. I'll see which ones we got next. I might do Ethan's one next. So, Ethan, if you want to send me the quizzes, you can. We had 530 players. A little quick look at how people went just to expose a few of them. So, all the goals ended up top five. Bailey Killingsworth finished eighth. Let's just quickly have another look at this uh, podium and see who else did all right. Luke McMahon, 11th. I finished 30th. So not too bad, I guess, out of the amount of people. 30th isn't too bad. Um, I can't really be bothered going down any further. So if you did worse than that, well, it's too bad. All right, we'll go back to the... Actually, no, we'll do, we'll do Ethan's one. For... Not sure what it's about, but we're going to do it for some for some sort of a prize. So let's get back into next prize. Let's see what there is. And the next prize is for a Tim Kelly Star Wild. All right, now they're going to update the leaderboard. Sure, we get at least... Well, it's still good viewers, but like 400 people can join for this game, surely. I'm not sure if there are many West Coast fans in chat, but it shouldn't matter anyways. It's still a decent prize, nonetheless. I'll leave sight. We are how many subs away from 28.4? 40 subs away. If we can get 40 subs, take it as a win. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, Lockie. We have... Um, we, we want to get a few more to rise when we, we start giving away more of the prizes. I'm not complaining, though. Plus, think about it. If I was um, speed, I'd be fucking pissed with these viewers, wouldn't I? It goes to show that anyone really could win this. Um, well, you do have to be relatively smart, but it just goes to show that we haven't gotten anyone cheating yet, which is good. We've actually got proper people that I know winning some of these quizzes. So, I'm actually going to put, I'll put Mato's channel up there again since he won the last one. The new pin is 5368. One, four, seven. And we're now playing Ethan Crouch's Kahoot. So this one should be a good one. That's why I um, have the prize. If you're Blaze, you'd be... Yeah, I would be. But I'm not Blaze. Ah, fuck you, all the goals. I'm kidding, all the goals. But fuck your channel. We're going to put... Um, Mardos again. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm not comparing myself to, I'm just saying, like, if I was a bigger creator, right, much bigger like him, this would be nothing. It's all relative, isn't it? All right, live sub count. Let's put it up and let's join the next one. So the new pin is down below. This one is for a, a, a relatively decent prize. So 
Wouldn't want to miss out on it. All right. Um, you have a gold star while Tim Kelly. Can people win twice? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, Marto won twice, but unfortunately for him, he didn't, he didn't win any of the major prizes twice. They were, they were both for the, just the shout-outs. But he's, he's gotten some subs, so he's gotten recognition and all that. All right, I'm Cardi. Let's... I don't know if Ethan's going to be actually... Pl Ethan can't really play his own quiz, can he? I mean, I don't know. If you're allowed to do that. Can they get a, a cash equivalent? Well, what would a cash equivalent equivalent be? What would that be worth? That's more than enough time. We're going to start now. Who won the 1998 Brown Leather? Already off to a relatively difficult start. But I do know this one, actually. You left, no worries. 20 bucks, probably. Probably around 20 bucks. But it's, uh, see, West Coast is doing so poorly, but they're a popular club, so normally they would be worth a bit more, the cards. Is that actually Scoops? Geordie in third? I'm not sure if that's actually Scoops or not. Who won the 2012 Coleman medal? Uh... I'm not, I'm actually not sure. I've gone Jack Rewalt because I'm pretty sure he did win it in one of those years, but I'm not, sh I know it wasn't Cloak. And I, I don't think Franklin and Josh Kennedy, I, I do think it was um, Rewalt. So we're going to go Jack Rewalt and we got it right. We're into the top 18. Ham and cheese first, Kangaroos, Harvey McLennan, Australia Clips and Corey Backledge. This is an interesting one with new people in the top five. What year did the league change from the VFL to the A? Oh, this is easy, because this is literally always a freaking question in one of my quizzes. Always. Yeah, 1990. Uh, how many people went? Some said 1976, some said 1987. Stray Eclipse, I am 11th. Let me know where you guys are placed so far. Oh shit, your game's late. That's that's very unlucky. Who was the first of a Brisbane Lions captain? I'm actually not sure, to be honest with you. Um, I'll go Li I'll go Voss or Voss and Lynch. I don't think Chris Scott. So I'm gonna go Voss and Lynch. Yep, cool. Luke McMahon is second. Which of these statements is false? I'm not going to say which one's which, but it's a, it's a good question. It's a good question. It's a good question that has to get you working your mind. Gary Ablett Jr. did not win a Norm Smith. I'm ninth behind Stray Eclipse. Haven't got a question wrong yet, which is a good start for a, for a difficult one, that's for sure. Fourth on the brown low. Shit, I don't know. I'm actually going Jack Steele as my guess. I don't know, though. This could make or break it, to be honest with you. This could make or break because I, I, don't, I don't think I'll win anyways, but could make or break it for a few people watching this. Oh, it was Jack Steele. It was Jack Steele. I'm third in the podium. I'm third on the podium. This is the best I've ever done. I've got a real chance at winning this. AL fourth. Uh, Jack Steele. No, well, it was Steele. Um, what stadium is this? Shit, I think it's Tr Trager Park. I could certainly see people getting this one wrong if they just get guessed straight away. Is 
But yeah, well, it was trying to park. Didn't get someone very quickly, though. I, I need it, like... I don't know. This will be difficult. Nick Mulkey stayed... Started his career with the Brisbane Bears. True. You just searched up, it's Lockie New who won the Brownlow in 2020. Mate, you read the question wrong. It was fourth in 2020. Bomber Hill. Jeez, you look like an idiot now, I reckon. Everyone got that one right. I'm closing, though. I'm closing. Imagine hosting and then winning the whole thing. Oh, I just did a... <laughs> You've got to, like, just think. We play to win the flag for you. Fight, fight, fight till we hold up the cup. Force you to think. Yeah. Everyone got that one right, pretty much. Fuck's sakes. I'm still third. I'm, I'm only two points off second, though. I've still got three more to go. Who was in the code for the Lou Richards medal in 2023? Shit, I don't know. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I reckon between Butters and Taranto. I've still gone for Butters, but I reckon Taranto might have overtaken him. I'm not sure, though. This is as of round 15, though, so. Let's see. Yes, it's Butters. Come on. Come on, it's not Taranto. Fuck sakes, I'm still third. Oh, this is the best I've done on a quiz. It's Ethan's quiz as well. What year was the MCG built? Oh, I did a video on this, didn't I? Like, I first established the MCG was quite a while ago. I did do a video on this where I, I briefly covered it. I might almost do a, 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 a... You know where I did a history of the stadium video? I might do a history of the MCG video next off-season. Because then I can maybe attract the Indians, right? Because, you know, they're going to want to know about it through cricket. Have I possibly gone overtaken? No, I'm still third. Graz is fourth. I'll make the podium as long as I don't fuck this one up. Who won the 2001 Norm Smith medal? I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure about this one. For a Tim Kelly star wild, I'm really not sure how we're going to get the winner if the winner does reveal themselves to speak out. Let's see. Shit, it was Luke Power. Was it Luke Power? Well, I got the one wrong. I said Akimatis. I still finished fourth. Graz finished second. And Harrison Barnes finishes first. AFL Legend finishing fifth. Because he guessed power, that's a good guess. I finishing finish fourth. Um, you got three to four, and then your internet crashed. That's annoying. Um, I need Harrison Barnes if he's got Instagram or an email or whatever. I need to see him in chat. The last question was actually meant to be Sean Hart. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ethan. I mean, not like it really matters though, because what were the um. So I hope that doesn't affect anyone from winning at all. Oh well. Not much we can do about that. I'll still give it to um I'll still give it to who won that. Who who was it that got up? Harrison Barnes. He wins the, the card. You know what? I feel like being generous, let's give away some more footy cards. Next prize will be three more packs of footy cards. I'm not sure how we're going to ha this Harrison Barnes got it. Surely he'd want to win it though. Surely he'd can he'd reveal himself. If he doesn't reveal himself, well. Guess I'm not sure what we're gonna do. He finished third in the last one as well, I just realized. Do a normal general quiz. 
Yeah, I might do a normal general quiz actually. That was my best place, you know, fourth place. Let me know of all the quizzes you've played so far on this one, this stream, which placing has been your best placing that you've uh, managed to achieve so far on this stream. Mine's fourth place, so not too bad. Um, I'll do Bonnie's Guess the Guernsey number quiz, actually, for, th for three packs. I reckon this could be an interesting one. 28th, 13th, 14th, 9th, 4th, 6th, 47th. Leave side. People said they want a general one. Well, I'll, I have a general one that I'll play later. I definitely will be doing a general one eventually. Thirty-three subs away from twenty-eight point four. It's been a sort of a slowish grind to get to the. Uh, this specific Guernsey ones are too complicated. Um, I I can't promise if we're going to do yours, Charlie. You, you've literally asked every message, mate. Pipe down a little bit, I reckon. Um, we've still got it there, possibly for for a future one, maybe next stream as well, because I'll still have a few for the next stream. Um, you should do a wheel. Nah, I'm not going to do a wheel for the quizzes, because there are certain ones that I want to save for the bigger prizes. Um, we'll change the pin though. So four seven eight seven two. I'm not sure why we only have three digits. Or oh, sorry, not three digits, like five digits. Why is it? I'm glad that the stream hasn't crashed yet. Although I'll, I'll say it, and then it'll crash like the next, like on during this quiz. It better not, though. I'll be pissed off. Shouldn't I shouldn't have said that now? That now that I said that, it's going to happen. What's the time now? Eight fifty-eight. I reckon we might do another two hours of this. So we're not even halfway through these streams. We've still got a lot of time to to do more of these, and it's it's been a good start. Like it's been a good stream so far for sure. Make sure to hit that like button though if you haven't already. Uh, why is it your old profile picture in the bottom right corner on top of the leaderboard? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. You have to study for a science test, but I'm doing this instead. I won't keep you up for too long, I don't reckon. I'll give it another minute. Remember, share this link around. Three packs of footy cards will be the one that I'll be giving away now. And then I've got wild cards still to give away. Um, so probably another four or five more quizzes to go. So let's begin. So remember, if you stay, the later you stay, the more chance I guess you could have of winning. Someone took all the goals. I'm ATD lowercase. Well, if you if you make your fake all the goals, it it's almost a good thing having people make fakes of you. To be honest with you, what number is Aaron Norton? Shit, I'm behind already. This one's I think twelve questions. So shortish. Get through this one quickly. And 198 went with the correct answer. So what am I on? 159th, because I have to I have to guess that one late. He went to my school. Apparently he's a shit bloke from what I've been told. I'm not sure how true that is though. Next up, 
Far out, I keep refreshing. Um, what number is Mason Cox? So far, you should be getting all these ones right. Should I go full forward in my footy? Um, well, it depends on... Probably depends on how t like big you are, I guess. If you're like really small, probably not. Two from two. Connor, Target Frog, Corey, Swifto, and Ethan Crouch. Ethan Crouch, we played his one last time. Can he finish first in this one? What number is Sam Walsh? I'm not sure if they... I, I think they'll probably pro progressively get harder, these ones. I reckon. Two hundred forty-four people went Sam Walsh with eighteen. I'm one hundred nineteen, so even with a record of three and zero, I'm still nowhere near it. Ethan Crouch is on top. Let me know what you're on right now at the moment. Sam Draper wears number seventeen. True or false? Um, why does this one make me think it's not that difficult? Is it? He doesn't wear seventeen. He does want to say, but it made me think for some reason. It really didn't, because I'm not, I'm not the greatest with Guernsey numbers. Target Frog. What number is Bailey Humphrey? Fuck, I should, I need to get this one right, because the person that made this is a Gold Coast fan. But again, I'm not sure, because he's a newcomer. I think it's 35, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong on this one. 19. So, so that's the thing. I, I, I don't actually know with a, new, a lot of the new players um, certain number, jumper numbers. So I got that one wrong. Shit. Even Arthur Jones, I might not get right. Which, now I do think I know this one. I, I, I'm not great with jumper numbers at all. I'm not amazing. I'm like, I'm not terrible, but I'm not, I'm not as good as I used to be. I've gone 32 for Jones. Yeah, right, that was pretty easy for most people. Gold Coast don't have a 39. Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know at all. There's no way people confidently know this, surely. Like, you wouldn't have an idea, would you? I'm going to go true just because I can't think. I've got no idea. True. That was pretty split. Ethan's on top. He got that one right. Grass is fifth. Five more questions to go. What number is Scott Pendlebury? Oh, fuck. Thank you. An easy one. It's gone from really difficult ones to easy ones. Sarah Dicker doesn't know. Rest in peace to that kid. I'm back. Last game of PC Lake, but I was watching the stream and I guess everyone correct. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Especially... When you got it all, got them all correct, yet your, your PC still lagged. Yeah, definitely an easy one there for that one. Ethan into front by 42. Four more questions to go. What number is Isaac Rankin? Well, I know what number he was for Gold Coast. I'm just going to go 22, but I'm actually not sure if it's still that for Adelaide. I'm, I'm really not 100% not sure. It's 22, though, isn't it? Yeah. Three more to go. Will Power. Shit, I should know this one. 27, isn't he? I don't look at numbers. I saw that I look at it. I just try not to remember them. I just can't. I get skewed in my mind. Yep, twenty-seven. I'm behind. I'm sixty-third. So this has not been my greatest quiz. Oh, Ethan! Ethan has dropped. JB, whoever the, this person is, is on top. He's dropped on the third last hurdle. What number is Bailey Smith? 
Um, oh, for fuck's sake, so I gotta refresh the Kahoot again. Six. You're first. Well, I, I can't tell if you're first not with a name, so I guess the... W yeah, shit. What am I going to do about this winner? I guess... Who in the world's JB? Tyler Elliott and t JB on the exact same name at a point. What the hell? I've never seen that before. Alright. Let's see. Podium. Let's see if Tyler Elliott can get it right. Because he's actually in chat, so that is him. I'm, I'm just not sure who a JB would be, because it's like a, a name that could be anyone. Check IG. Barnes. Pat Sugg. I'm not sure what that name is. And winning with 31 on front is Tyler Elliott. Tyler Elliott, I saw him in chat. Well done, mate. Hit me up on um, whatever platform I guess you want. I mean, Instagram would work best for myself, I feel like. He gets... I, I finished... I didn't even tell me how, where I finished, but... Yeah, I didn't do great. We'll go to the podium again so we can get it back up. Um, Tyler Elliott. Well done, mate. I'm not sure if I know many people on the podium, to be honest. I actually don't know many of the people uh, much at all. We'll go summary. Got all bar one, and it was an effing mistake. I reckon Scoops could do I could do quite decent a few of these ones, I feel like. Um, can I view the summary, for God's sakes? View full report, yeah. I thought Will Power was 17. No, I don't blame you for, for that. I, I did know it was 27, but like I could see myself getting a question like that wrong. So update the leaderboard. So Tyler Elliott. So far, though, it's 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 been Armado. He's, he's the only one that's won multiple quizzes so far. And it's not easy, let alone to win one. Um, Pat Sug Renet. Oh, you are actually kidding me. Someone has a name... Called Pat Suggs Renested. <laughs> and that ended up finishing second. And now that's going to be on the leaderboard. Because it's technically a rule. Not a chance that person ended up finishing second. Though. Like, what are the chances of that being the name? Um, I, I just realized what that was as well. I didn't even know for the entire game. Just check IG Barnes in third. Graz finishes in the top five yet again. So two back-to-back -back top five finishes. Is there anything Graz can't do? Well, probably there is, and that is go to school. Um, I'll let you guys pick which one should we do for a, just a shout out, and then we'll do another big prize in the next one. AFL margins. There are no AFL margins. What about a... Why don't we do all the goals quiz? People want an AFL 2023 quiz, right? Let's do all the goals version of that. I'm not sure why people want to want that particular one so badly, but yeah, fuck it, we'll do it. Um, and then we'll do another couple in a row for quizzes. Um, well, shit. Visit anyway. Surely it's not... Oh, it's probably the wrong link, I reckon. Right. Uh, can you send me your uh, your quiz? I think I put the wrong link in all the goals. So just put it in again. Just, like, send it to me again through Instagram. I must not have copied the right links. So just put it in again. Actually, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll just do that. No, I'm, I'm, I don't think I did. It's going to come up with that shit again, isn't it? So it's the wrong link. All 
Um, I'll try and find it, maybe. So the thing is, the longer we wait and do nothing, people just leave. They don't have a very, um... Well, they have a very big attention span at all. I don't even bloody know. Where the messages might, might, might let's do someone else's then, because I don't think I've got... Oh, no, he, he sent it. All right. All right, well, this should work, shouldn't it? 29 subs away from the goal that we're going. Hit that like button as well. That's also ticking along kind of nicely. Um, how many questions do we have? 11. All right, well, that's all right then. It's only a short one, so it's only worthy for, for just a shout out. So now playing... All the goals got a bit of a mention this stream. He's been a bit of a... Oh, maybe not a fan favourite to some, but... Even though we're not going to get 450 again, I kind of still want to open that second pack of footy cards because I still have it somewhere. I'm not sure I put it, though. All right, let's open this second pack of footy cards. Um, oh, we just we just spiked back up to 346. All right, well, there you go. Let's do it. What do we get? We've gone a... Scanlons of Bont, Tom Green Silver, and this one, Cozzy Pickett. Nothing too special, but nothing too terrible, terrible either. I want to win one. I would like to win one. It would be pretty satisfying if I won one. Six three two nine six six nine. All right, uh, my sperm card's coming tomorrow in the mail. I haven't even got my sperm card sperm card yet. Jason's trying to scare me, I reckon. All right, let's give it a start. Not sure why that's the background. I I, I think it's fitting. Mars in the background of an all the goals quiz. He loves his Mars bars, doesn't he? Which of these stadiums has a red roof? For fuck's sake. Um, well, I think the only reason he knows the answer is because of my last um, experience to the Gabba. Jason was meant to give it... Yeah, I know. He forgot. He'll just give it to me next time. I might do some with Jason soon as well. Um, yeah, I should have known that oh, that red rooster would have been mentioned in one of these uh, quizzes. Ethan Crouch would definitely know the answer to that one. That's why he got it right. How many AFL premierships did Put Adelaide have? Remember, it's AFL premierships, none of that sand full rubbish. But no one goes there? Well, I went there. Bit of an underwhelming experience, though. I was just excited to see a red rooster at the footy again because I, I don't mind red rooster. It's underrated. I think it's. I do think it's. Maybe it's because I support the Saints and we are sponsored and all that. Ethan Crouch again. Can this be his quiz not to throw? How many points have Skilda scored so far this season? Round one. Oh, how the? F how is anyone supposed to get this one right? Um. Unless you study the AFL ladder before the um, start of or the end of the round, then no one's going to know this. It's a guess. It's not a lot. It's not one two two one. I don't think. I think it's blue. I've gone ten three nine. There you go. Got it right. Ethan also got it right as well. Skronky, Gussie, Harrison B, Luke Jacks. Well done if you got it right. I guessed blue and got it right. Which of these matchups has happened? It requires you to think, but when you really think about it, it's not that difficult of a question. I don't think. I don't think, but I feel like a few would go University v Hawthorne. It's never happened. Hawthorne went around when University were. 
Fitzroy v. Frio, and I'm now sixth. This could be my round. This could be my round. Coleman third, Harrison in first. Singleton have played a game f in four countries. False. We played a game for a premiership points in three, not four. Could be a trick one though. No, it isn't, but I'm still contending. I'm now fifth behind Cole. What you did Matt produce when he's brown though? Shit. I might have got this one wrong. I guess quickly. It's 2014 though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is 2014 and I've bumped up to third. I've bumped up to third. The runner-up in 1959. Shit. I think it was Fitzroy, but it could be... Col it's either Collingwood or Fitzroy, but I'm going to have Fitzroy. This could fuck me around massively. I think Melbourne beat Fitzroy in 1959. It was Essendon. I didn't think it was Essendon. I was never going to guess this, and I guess that don't feel so bad about getting that one wrong, but I'm... Drop to 11th behind Eshan. That's annoying. Uh, against the Hawks in 2022, the power wore a number on their V. I'm not sure what number it was, but I'm going to guess. So this is bad, because if I get this one wrong, I've just slumped two questions in a row. Oh, for fuck's sake, it was seven. I guessed 1870. What was what was the seven for? I, I don't... Oh, Russell Ebert. Yeah, I didn't really read between the lines. Yeah, I've screwed it up. I'm still 17, so... Go show I wasn't the worst out of the lot. What year was this jumper worn? I'm not sure. I'm going to go 2016. Uh, it was for Russell Ebert. No, everyone in chat saying it was for Russell Lee, but he was a club legend for the power. Or for Port Adelaide. The Magpies. Uh, yes. Good. I've got it right. I'm in ninth, but I, it shouldn't matter. Harrison B has, I think, won. He's done this from the from the start to the finish. Let's see if we can get the next two right. Which year was this jump? Oh, shit. I don't know. I think it was 2000. The, the, there is a clue. It's just not going to be 2007. That's too late. And the AFL logo was adopted in 2000, that new one. So it wouldn't be before then. So I've gone 2000 as my guess. And there you go. Pro Civil Nation getting that one right. And I kind of wanted Harrison to knock that one right and make it interesting. But he should win it from here. Good, good quiz though. I've done okay. What year did they win this yellow jumper? Oh, I'm going to go 2008. It's around that period of time. It's not 2011. Because I went sponsored by the Malaysia Airlines or whatever the hell that logo is. Pretty sure it's 2008. Could be 2005 though, but I think it's 2008. It's 2009. Um, I still ended up finishing 7th. That was a tough one. Jesus, the people that got them all right. That's pretty impressive. Finishing 7th, though, isn't too bad. And I only got, like, 8. Or, no, it wasn't even 9 of 11. It was 8 of 11. Harrison B. Well done, mate. Uh, Con plays. Finished top 5. So that's uh, a good... Good effort. I'm just going to have Harrison B as the name. All right, next up, we'll do another wild card giveaway. He cheated. Um, I 
Maybe he did, but I don't think he did. Still got quite a few to continue. We might actually do... um. Right, let me have a look at this. We might do... Go to HQ's one, if he's still in chat. Is it a is it a good one though? What's it about? Yeah, fuck it. We'll do God HQ's one. Give it a go. Guarantees. All right. Let's see. And we'll do it for another quiz. Uh, we'll give away Kerno Silvani. We'll give away Silvani, Magic World. Oh, but it's only ten questions actually. I don't think it's it's long enough. I do, I genuinely don't think it's long long enough. We'll just play it for fun and then we'll give away the the uh, Silvani one next because it's I don't think it's long enough. Ten questions isn't a major prize. Uh, we'll, we'll still we'll still give it a go, but we're not going to give it away for a prize. I need to remember who um, won all the uh, the prize because I haven't written them down yet. Like who who's won what, so I've got to make sure that I can I remember that. God, my, that's, that, that'll, that is not good at all. Why do you think nobody's watching if it's for no prize? Plus you butchered my name before, so thanks for that. I'm going to uh, remove you from the chat at the moment because you're, uh, you're saying some shit about scoops and... I think that's a timeout for night for my yes you hear Marky Tanafic summer I bloody uh, watched bloody one of his stories I don't I don't even know what the hell to say to that um, I reckon we play your one your Kahoot Kahoot the one after next I reckon or ma maybe the next one summer we'll play um go actually this one won't take very long at all what why do you yell like that. Because it's it's bloody Mark. That's how he is. He didn't notice the hacker. I don't really care that much because the hackers never end up winning anyways. The new code is three fifty six eight four three. All right, let's start. Oh wait, no, I've got to put my nickname in. I'll be Cardi. Yeah, I don't really care. That, who cares about the ha hacker? This stream sucks. Oh, I'll just time that as well. You can't just be giving away false accusations like that without any evidence. All right, is this prison bar Guernsey? Um, I don't fucking know, to be honest with you. I'm going to go false. It could be right, but I just feel like for some reason it's not.
And I've already gotten it wrong. Jesus, I'm not winning this one. I'm not winning this one. Go she's already made it difficult. AFL Pies, Harrison Barnes, the two Aussies cut. Oh. All right, if that person ends up winning it, then I get the prize and AFL talks. Well, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a question, mate. How many? How many? What the hell is this wording? How many V shapes are there on a Guernsey? I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, two. From. Actually, no, there'd be more than two. Three. Fuck sakes, I already got the first two wrong. It would have been Port, Sydney's, and Hawthorne's. Good grammar, though, God HQ. You're really, uh, you're really giving yourself a good start. What guarantees this? It's an, it's an indigenous one. I'm going to go Sydney's. I reckon I got that one wrong as well. I think it actually might be Carlton's. I could be three from three of losses. Of incorrect answers. Oh no, I actually got that one right. Thank fuck. All right, Wesley Mullet, Joshua Heary, Mitch D, Jamayo, and Graz. I'm not liking this one. I'm not a fan of this quiz so far. Go HQ. Luckily, it's not for a price. How many teams have three more colours on the Guernseys, not including sponsors? I'm gonna just go like five. Because you, you kind of just got to think straight away. Unless you want to really numb down and think of the answer. I'm trying to think. Saints, Bulldogs, Port, Adelaide, Brisbane. It's probably six. No, it is five. All right, cool. On a streak of two. Jemayo, Graz, Harrison, AJ. How many Vs do Fremont have on their Guernsey? That is shit spelling and grammar from you again. Um, they're not even bloody V's anyways. Aren't they chevrons or whatever they are? I guess they're V's. I'm going to go three, right? Yeah, three. I'm now 41st. Nobody cares about the V's. No one cares about your comments, mate. I'm going to Hawthorne. It's shitty spelling again. He can't spell Guernsey. He can't spell Hawthorne. He can't capitalize the coast, nor can he capitalize the Kilda. Oh, geez. This could be one of the worst of lots of the things. Luckily, this isn't for the prize. Um, it's the St. Kilda one. Oh, so it's probably the bloody indigenous one that the Saints had. Of course. Um, I know everyone's going to try and pick Collingwood, but I think it has to be Collingwood. It's either a trick question or it's not Collingwood, but I'm going to go, uh, maybe Port actually. How are you supposed to know though? It could be a Port prison bar. It's just, I've gone Collingwood. It's probably wrong. No, it's right. All right. How many more to go? Three more to go. Have Gold Coast had the same design all through the history? Design in terms of what though? Home? So I'm going to go false because technically they haven't. But what if it's true, you'll really piss me off. Go to HQ. You'll really piss me off. Oh, ho, ho, you really piss me off, mate. You really piss me off, go to HQ. This is a shit quiz. Wesley Mullet on top. Two more to go. How many teams of vertical stripes in the Guernsey? Um, North, Collingwood, Hawthorne. I'm going to go three. I might be missing a side. I probably am missing a side, but North, Collingwood. Oh, St. Kilda. St. Kilda have vertical stripes. Four would be the answer, wouldn't it? Five. What's the other side? Collingwood... Hawthorne, North, Saints. What's the other side? You are fucked this up monumentally, mate. Honestly. 
the, oh, I'm, I don't even know how this guy's got them all right. He's going to win it. It's not going to count for much. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, only one team gave vertical... <laughs> this is the shittest quiz. <laughs> only one team gave vertical strips <laughs> on their kids. <laughs> oh, it's so bad that I'm not even going to bother guessing. This is so shit. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Only 29 went true. Only one team has... How is it true as well? It's not even true. <laughs> it's not even true. I can't even... I can't with this. I'm so glad this wasn't for a goddamn... <laughs> goddamn. This, I, I refuse where this this guy got him all right. Um, legitimately. I think he cheated or something, to be honest. Um... In fact, if anyone made the podium, I genuinely reckon you fucking cheated. That, that, that was terrible. God, HQ, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, hang your head in shame. That was bad. Um, Wesley Mullet, though, I guess at the end of every quiz, you do get a winner. So well done. Um, I think we'll play a much better quiz next. He spelt stripes, strips. You didn't go through it all? Well, no shit. I'd like to know how long it actually took you to make because I could, you could tell some of the questions were not bad, the actual question itself, but the grammar, the, you know, everything apart from the questions were fucked up. Graz, another top five feature. Jad, Graz and JDOT both made the pod, podium, which is interesting given they're the two click channels. All the goals and JDOT, so that's the first podium finish for JDOT, but definitely not for, for all the goals. All right, let's uh, let's give away the wild card now for a better quiz. Um, we still have a couple more to give away. Let's play. Uh, we'll play Summer's quiz. All right, I'm expecting this one to be a lot better. Um, didn't, yeah, you didn't check anything, mate. Like, honestly. Alright. Got to put the next leader as well. So what was it? Wesley Mullet. I have not even seen this guy in any of my chats. Is he even a real person? Stop, stop spamming block it. Well, no one really can spam because you, you can't. Alright. I'll definitely take part in this one. Honestly, if I can get top 10, I'll be happy. All right, so this is actually for a prize, a Jack Silvani Magic. So we'll wait a couple of minutes for, and also, yeah, you put in Blookal in chat. I might almost start just timing out if you're gonna keep spamming. It's kind of annoying. Like you're just immature doing it. And you're not gonna get me to change my decision at all. It's just a waste of your time. You've hollowed my form. Oh, I might have hollowed the wrong one. I, I might actually play one of your other ones next as well. Like, technically, we can still go for another hour. I just... Like, technically, we can. Obviously, we're going to get a viewer drop-off. It's all good. All right. Scoops has attempted to chat up my mates under eight. Well, send me the screenshots and all that if that's the case. But the thing is, Scoops, I'm not going to just, you know, be like, oh, for fuck's sake, seriously, why do people even bother with this sort of stuff? It shouldn't matter. It, it, I, I, it won't matter, but I'm just saying it's kind of annoying and it's a waste of time. But yeah, look, mate. Why is it false if there is legit proof of happening? Well, send me, if you can send me good enough proof, I, I just don't think that he would do that to ruin re his reputation. I really don't think I could see something, I can see something um, that Scoops would do, but I don't know, whatever. But I don't even know why I have to say it on a public stream like this. Like, just, just do, like, if this is really an issue with you, privately um, sort it out with me. Um, I don't know if that's actually Mark, but if that is Mark, Welcome. 
Welcome to the stream and the quiz. All right, we want to get a few more people in to be fair, so we'll update the pin because um, this is deserving of a few more viewers and some of the other shit ones we've had. Well, it's annoying when you play the really shit ones at the start where you got everyone on. Have you seen the Egg Footy video? Yeah, I have, but nothing really was said about that in that video, to be honest with you. But yeah, you can chuck me a message if you want. Like, I'll, you, I'll allow him to speak in the chat. I don't think there's anything wrong that he's done at the moment. And now there are more... Let's just start it. We've got enough time. Um, I'm not really going to rage with that because there's no point in raging. This It doesn't achieve anything. I'm pretty sure the first question was a stadium question. So I think the stadium was Giants. Yep. Speaking of underage chatting, had some cash fist messing me who is probably a guy with... Okay, I won't, I won't finish that message. Twenty-five subs to go until we hit another, hit another mini milestone. Have you ever tried the food from Optus Stadium? Before? I have, but but I didn't really get a lot. I'm gonna go back in a week and a bit, so we'll, we'll give it another go with the food. Um, Forty signs in the top three. Who was the cap the vice captain on the 2019 All Australian team? Fuck me, dead. Um. I think it could actually be Shannon Hearn. I reckon Shannon Hearn is the answer. But I'm not actually sure. He, he wouldn't have been the captain though, Shannon Hearn. Yep, correct. Alright. Goat HQ. Geordie second. I'm behind Goat HQ actually in the um the quiz. Optus Stadium for his literal feces. I doubt it can be any worth in the MCG for those of late. The Dockers were established in uh, 1994, I think. Well, it's a relatively easy one to be honest with you, given... Um, I know it's not any earlier than 1994, so that would be the only answer. Alright, Geordie third, I'm 15th. Fourth question in. Which team is sponsored by Mission? Not a bad question. Definitely um, throwing it around with the, the different varieties of questions. Mum has to do with the sponsor. We haven't seen this one before so far. But yeah, try not to reveal the question or the answers in chat. Like you can if you really want to be, I don't know, you don't need to. I'm 62 points behind someone named Patrick Coupe. Okay. Geordie. Pluto could win the prize at the moment. He's on top with good score. What was West Coast win-loss record at the end of the 2019 season? Fuck. Fuck. I thought, he's, I thought the question was 2021 20, for some reason. I got it wrong. I went 11 and 11. The answer would be like probably 16 and 6. Probably. Maybe 15 and 7. I fucked up. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm hard. I'm going to get rid of you, actually. Genuinely, if you're going to have names like that, I'll just get rid of it. Seriously. How are we supposed to know that? Well, obviously people knew that already. Sam Williams has only bounced the ball two times in his career. I'm going to add true. Tough questions from Summer. I'm going, it's an AFL Central type stat, but I'm going to go, to, oh, for fuck, it's false. Geordie is doing really well. Football science, fifth spot. Um, in case you get it wrong, he has actually never bounced the ball during a game. Well, there you go. Didn't know that. How many of the people watching knew that? I doubt... Not, I doubt many would have gotten that one right. Uh, how many points did Richmond beat GWS by the 2019 grand final? I'm going the blue one. That's easy. 
you go from like a really difficult one of the um, Wiedemann one, then you go to something like this. It's like, well, yeah, much easier. Still not going to get it um, anywhere near the top five though, because I've got two of them wrong already. Geordie obviously getting that one right. The top five doesn't change because that was easier with the question we've got as of late. Who won by three points between Hawthorne and Adelaide in round six? Did you book for Gatherand yet? No, I haven't. I will soon though. I kind of need to soon since, you know, it'll, it'll book out pretty quickly, I reckon. Adelaide Crows fans is Crows. It is Crows. 56 won Hawthorne. Shit, people got that one wrong for some reason. Which team won Magenta in 2004's Heritage Round? I know the answer. I didn't know it before, but I... <laughs> I got a test question sent, and uh, yeah, she told me the answer, so I, got to, I, I know it's right. I'm not going to say what it is, though. It's a tough one. I didn't even know the answer. You'd have to look at the um, players from the picture to give you the answer. So Geordie got it right. Blake Hicks... In second. There not be any cheating going on, I don't think. <laughs> Which player has won, has the most tackles so far this season? Um, fuck, I don't know. Uh, is it, is it Rao? I don't know, I'm looking at Rao, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta get a couple of these difficult ones correct. Yeah, it is Rao. It is Matt Round, 23rd still. Geordie's still very much clear on top. Schultze behind. Um, how how have everyone liking this quiz so far? I don't mind it. Definitely not a bad one. How many disposals has Caleb Swan got this season? Fuck. See, when you've got questions like these, they stump you. Those are the ones that are going to throw you off and you're just going to have to guess. Which I'm not too pissed off about, to be fair. Because it could actually get you up with if everyone else gets it wrong. Oh, and I got it right. I guessed 396. And most people got that one wrong. But because I got it right, I've gone up quite a few spots. Geordie got it wrong, but still ends out on top. <laughs> Which team does not mention their team name or nickname on their theme song? Um, fuck. Um... Oh, now I think I, I think I know the answer. See, I needed to to sing every single song in my head just to make sure I got the answer. It was Melbourne. I'm eleventh now. Geordie's still on top. Is anyone going to beat Geordie? He's genuinely been on top for like the last ten questions. Now there are two answers to this one, so let's hope that there are two answers given. Why do you think the Saints will beat Brisbane? Well, I said it in my video. I think we'll just get the win. I think um, we play best footy at Marvel. I just think we'll get a statement victory, mate. Backing in my own side. Yeah, it is tired. I mean, it was either Colin or Eston. Who won the Rising Star in 2019? Not Grind Myers. You coming down Thursday... If I've got a ticket, I'm almost more of a 50% chance to go. If I've got a ticket, if I don't have a ticket, no, no, I can't, can I? Sam Walsh is the correct answer. Still 11th. 16 of 20, 20, uh, 22. What year did Joel Selwood debut? I do feel like we'll get a couple of, uh, you know, relatively difficult ones to finish things off. So I'm not expecting it to be, you know anything easy to finish things off. Yep, 2007 for mine. The Racic Bros has bumped into fourth. Well done. I'm ninth. I could still maybe see myself making it to the top five. How many teams are there outside of Victoria? you got to think of that one, but no, I got it right. How'd you find the Gabba? How's it compared to other stadiums? Uh, well, I'll do a ranking stands video later this year, later this week, so you can 
have a look at see what I have to say there. Jeez, you got it wrong, football science. That's terrible. As a cat supporter, you can't be getting a question like that wrong about Joel Selwood. Jo fucking Geordie's going to win a magic wild card at this rate. What number does Oscar Allen wear? Ah, oh, I, I don't know for sure because it's West Coast. I think, I think I know it, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think I know it though. Yes, it's twelve. I'm eighth behind Mardo. Jordy gets another one right. Which team is currently sitting eleventh on the ladder? Oh, we got this question earlier. This um, this Kahoot. Prediction for the cricket tonight. The Aussies get it done. By two wickets. The Giants. Mardo makes it into the top five. I'm sixth. I'm just slowly creeping. Slowly creeping inside the top five. What year did Essendon last win a grand final? Easy. Am I going to the Port Vieston game? I actually will be. I actually will be going to Port Vieston. Yes. Um, so the following, I'll talk about it after this stream. I'll actually talk about the plans um, that week, what will be happening. That's the correct answer again for myself. So probably going to be tough to break into the top five. We need someone to throw in a really difficult question for the last one. How many times did Eddie Betts win goal of the year? Uh, shit! Fuck! Fucking miss Cliff. I'm a fucking idiot as well. Of all things to kick, this isn't a good thing to be kicking. It's hard plastic. I've misclicked. I clicked two, obviously wanting to click four, and now I've got a bruised foot. Fuck me, dead. Let's hope Geordie did the same thing. Oh, I actually reckon Marto did the same thing there. That's so stupid. That's so stupid, that, that bloody hurt. All right, anyways, last question. Are you subscribed to Cardman 22? <laughs> Everyone should be clicking yes. It's like with all the old um, cahoots that we used to get, that would be the final question and it would piss me off. But it, actually, technically I'm not subscribed to myself. So does that mean I have to go no? Well, actually, it's a good, it's a, it's a little good, a uh, little bit of a good segue. If you're not subscribed, if you click no, hit that subscribe button now. Hit that subscribe button. I want to see that counter go up if you don't hit subscribe yet for, for, for footy content, for Kahoot streams, for all of that good stuff. Let's see who wins a Jack Silvani Magic Wild. Pretty good quiz from summer, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll need to take a photo of the top five. I don't know why the sub just went down. It should be going up. And it was Geordie Pluto. I think that's the first time we've seen Geordie. You'll be seeing this card on Facebook within the next couple of weeks. That's the thing. I don't want to give this card away. To, I, I would like to keep it, but like, yeah, yeah rules are rule. It'll be, it'll be selling it on Facebook, um, which is fair enough. So well done to Geordie Pluto. Um, we'll give away one more prize, but for the next one, we'll just do another shout out. Love your vids. Cheers, Jim Bo. Jim Bo. Je not Jim Bo NMFC, another Jim Bo. Um, yeah, we'll have to fill in the leaderboard again. So we've still probably got maybe. I reckon we do three more. I'm not sure how many we'll finish off with, but I still have got a. A lot of editing to do tomorrow and tonight because uh, that Brisbane video I still haven't even started that and I've told everyone I'll be getting out tomorrow so have to get onto that soon um, Kobe Miller says love a shout out love your videos no worries there you go shout out to you mate um, Mitch D 
and Max Lawson. So a different top four, top five, I should say. Geordie's certainly the one I know most out of that top five and obviously the one that won it. Um, let's go back to the spreadsheet. Good thing about the people winning these cards that... Um, I'll, I'll highlight the ones that I have already done. We'll do former AFL venues. Football sirens. What are you seeing for Fort Biesenen? Um, Level 2, I think, actually. Yeah, about that. So, on the Saturday, I'll be going to Bulldogs v Frio, Port Viesten, and then the reason why I'm going to Port Viesten is pretty much because um, the next day, I've got, like, so you can and I go to the um, Perth for the West Coast v Frio game, but he's going to Melbourne on Saturday, and he booked the flight already at 6 a.m., so because of that, Figure there's no point in going back home. We'll stay somewhere like that night in the city to go to the footy that night. So Port Essendon is what's on Saturday night. And I genuinely reckon Port Adelaide might lose that. I, I'm actually possibly tipping Essendon for an upset. Um, you're doing the double header next Saturday as well. How much you spend on these tickets? Oh, well, I didn't even buy them. I think I genuinely think Sammy's the one actually getting me a ticket. I'm like, if he's going to get me a free one, I'll, I'll say yes to that. Accommodation will go quick. I know that. Yeah, I know. I do, I do know that. But I think we'll still be fine for the next couple of weeks. But you wouldn't want to be, you know, sorting things out, you know, any later than the end of the footy season, I wouldn't say. Are you going to... Um, I might go to Melbourne v Geelong. Says footy man. Wonder if my punishment's still first. Yeah, I need to have a look at that. I'm not sure how the tipping video's performed. Hopefully it's performed relatively well. I need to have a little look. Um, it's... It's doing... All right. But my um, mid-season ladder predictions video actually started better, which is not normally the case. It's normally the tips videos always do well, but it's, it's going to get 10k plus. I know that for a fact. Um, yeah, your one has 130 likes, mate. You've got the most likes by quite a bit. Level 1 as well, go Dons. Round 7 is the best game, so I'll have to have a look at those games, won't I? Well, round 17, we've got Melbourne v. St. Kilda. I know that for a fact. But I don't think on the Saturday we have too many other great games. Chat seems way chiller. Well, there are less people in the chat at the moment, so yeah, it would probably be a little bit chiller. Get rid of that one. Yeah, not gonna... Not gonna fly with that. All right, let's, let's give it a go. Next, how many quizzes have we played? Like, probably 10. I'll switch this over. You guys are so stuffed with your... Well, some of the people are, yeah. Go pies. Go crows. Fuck the pies, fuck the crows. Although I will be going to crows be pies. So let me know in chat if you'll be there as well. We'll be taking the piss there. Name the former VFL AFL venue. Well, I don't even think Deacon. I think it's Deacon. I'm going to go Deacon. Actually, no, that's not Deacon at all. I think that's a different ground. I wouldn't even have a clue. Is that like the old Subiaco Oval? It, it it actually might be. Yeah, it is. It is. It's bloody old. It's, it's the Subi Oval that has been demolished. For some reason, I guess Deacon. Saints fan in the top five. It's your school? Oh, really? Name the former... Yep, 
Yeah, I know. They still have the old gates. It's, it's a school. It's kind of it's kind of cool, I feel. Having a school. Um, very concerning, you reckon? Mate, what what would there be any reason for me to have uh, the Blues any higher than what I put them? The Cullen have been a complete joke for most of the season. Yeah, I know they got a good win against the the Suns, but I need to see a lot more than just the one game. Why is the chat disconnecting all the time? Saints for the eight. I don't care what you say, mate. A lot of the stuff you say just goes in one ear and goes out the other. If you think the Saints are full out the eight, that's good. Good to know. Jesus, Mr. Saints fan, on top of the. Leaderboard after round three. All the goals in third. AFL God, players guy, Mitch D. You'll bet 80k they did it last year. And so did Carlton, mate. I don't really care what you think, as I said before. Like, yeah, I know. We did it last year. Doesn't mean we'll do it again. Um, go to Adelaide v Collingwood. I'm sitting in the Adelaide cheer squad. Yeah, I wouldn't mind sitting there. They were in the fourth for 15 rounds and dropped like a flyer. And yeah, and the, and the Blues were in the eight for... 22 rounds and dropped like a fly. I don't know why I'm arguing with you, mate. It's, it's just redundant. Saints fan on top still. Pretty easy quiz to be fair so far. Not like a shit one. It's just... Okay, maybe this one's a bit more difficult. I swear I've played this one before. I swear I've played this one before. On someone's stream. It rings a bell. But that's alright, because this is just one for fun. Saints fan. Got it right. Actually, two people, both on 4687. And they both support the Saints. You just watched you do the punishment in the last video. Had me dying. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, with that video... Um, oh, yeah. The, the microphone that I had recording, for some reason, just didn't didn't actually um like the audio that I recorded on that microphone for some reason didn't save or whatever it was just gone when I actually went to go and find the um the audio file so I was a bit pissed off about that but it could have been worse it could have been like a, a bigger video where the audio was lost what's the next prize uh the next prize will be a mystery prize so stay tuned for that and that'll be it because but I will, I will need to um, reveal something that I really do want to um, get going, at least as a test for next week, and that is a, a little group break. Name a form of VFL, AFL venue. Uh, I'll um, go Windy Hill, I'm not sure. Your mate has two spare tickets to the Port Vicolino game if you want them. Yeah, but that game's in Adelaide. Oh, Mark, is that is that actually Mark in chat? G'day, Mark. How are we, mate? Everyone, get around Mark. He just made himself welcome to the chat. You're in the cahoot now. Hopefully, you can uh, get a few questions right. Why are you arguing when when we're not in the same position? If anything, I don't know what you mean by that, mate. Yeah, you're not in the same position as Carlton. You're uh, St Kilda. You're well below us. Jesus, everyone loves Mark and chat. He's become a big name, a fan favorite. Um, name the former VFL. V you know what I'll do? I'll actually see how Mark went with these questions to see how good he is with his knowledge. You can actually check afterwards. I think this is the Junction Oval. I think it is. City Power Center. I think that's Junction Oval. Ash is starting soon. Oh, that's good to hear. I will definitely tune into that. Uh, I'm not sure what. It's on though, if it's on K or not, I'm not too sure. How am I still 11th? I should be higher. I swear I should still be higher. 
do you still want to go? Well, I would like to go, but I'm not going to pay for my own flights and, and accommodation. Like, you'd have to, like, I don't know, help me out with that as well. Or I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, you buy my stuff. I'm just saying, if you really want to go, like, I've spent too much money so far this year on the flights for, for trips to games and all that. I'm not made of money. Like, I don't have, you know, businesses or, or sponsors supply me with these these events and tickets. I, I spend all my money on it myself. So it's, you know, not easy. Um, what fucking grounds there? I'd be Arden Street, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, well, Shannon's certainly keen. Mark, I need to ask him about it. I don't think he knows about it yet. I'm still 10th. I don't think I've been too bad. I think I've been pretty consistent, just not getting them in quickly enough. Name the former VFL AFL venue. That looks like AI generated that photo. It doesn't look real. Saints fans are getting too cocky. When has that been established? When have I ever acted cocky? Saints fans are never cocky. We just celebrate when we get wins. Like, what, were we cocky that we beat the Swans? We were just happy that we got a win at the SCD for the first time in 14 years. Especially when I was at the game. Didn't think we were going to win. The underdogs, under man. Um, yeah, all the goals, I agree. You're going to get another win here, by the way. Um, former venue. I'll go Brunswick Street. Doesn't look like a real good venue, to be honest with you. It looks like a rundown. Just before saying Saints are above Carlton. How is that cocky when it's true? It's annoying that you think that. So you think that it's cocky that Saints fans believe that they're better than Carlton right now. That isn't cocky when it's factual. It's not trying to shit on Carlton when it's it's facts. You've been worse than us this season. We beat you earlier this year and we'll probably beat you again later this year. I don't know if I'm the only one of the that uh is on the same page as myself, I guess, but like <laughs> surely other people will sort of agree with me. Um, no, I, I don't think it deserves a timeout. I'm actually, in, I, I don't mind these discussions with Josh, to be honest with you. At least you've got people like him that have these discussions, but I just can't see why he thinks that way. Um, last year we had the same year. And how does that help your point in any way? All right, last question. I'm not sure where I'm ranked. I'm not sure where Mark is ranked either. Where are you, Mark, if you're still in chat? When are you next going to Boost Juice? Name the former VFL AFL venue. Tell you what, I wouldn't have a clue. I will go the... I'm going to go Arden Street, 1994. And that was incorrect. Where are the mods? Not sure the mods are, but we don't really need mods. The, I think the chat's fine. It's all right to have a few discussions here and there. I'm not saying chat's soft or anything like that, but like... Sometimes um, the stuff you say is really questionable, for sure. Saints fan lost. Did you finish top five, top five though? Who who finished first? It was all the goals, wasn't it? Yeah, no, we do have a few uh, mods. They're just playing the game, I guess, which I don't blame. All right, but I want to have a look at the um, summary to see if Mark. How many Mark got correct? If he's still even in chat. Have you done mine yet? No, I haven't, but that's not to say that I won't do it in a future stream. I have a lot more that I can still get done, which is handy. But like, feel free, if you want to make me a Kahoot and you think it's good enough, I'll certainly give it a go eventually. Because I won't be doing this just once. Um, I won't do it next week though. I have something else that I want to do a Tuesday night. That'll be interesting. I'll probably, I'm mostly going to crack open like five to six boxes of Team Coach on stream and just chat with you guys. Because um, I want to start doing like group breaks where I have a slots for certain sides and you can like, I don't know, pay 30, 40 bucks to pick Collingwood and then all the Collingwood cards are hit in the box. I'll send over to you. 
I reckon it's a fun little idea that I've seen people do that I could give it a go. Helps with the channel and it can make me a few coin or well, a bit of coin as well. So this person's got every question correct yet finished fourth. It goes to show that if you get them all done really quickly, it's more valuable, I feel. Um, yeah, we'll, we always lose viewers as it gets late. Oh, I can't do much about it, mate. It's 10.06 on a school night. When it's a Kahoot stream, yep, you attract the... Uh, the younger school kids. Like you, get, you get an average age of the chat on the Kahoot streams are normally the youngest, I'd imagine. Especially when it's at its prime. Now, I reckon the average age of the chat would be... What would the... Actually, how old is everyone watching this stream? Just put it in chat. Put it in once. I want to actually get a read on the average age. Um, you're watching the cricket. Yeah, we'll be watching the cricket. I will watch the cricket. Yeah, I will. So I'd probably say 15, 16 is the average. Majority of the chat is around. Majority of the chat's probably around a teenager, I'd say. Not many younger than 11. There's no way I can believe a seven year old's watching this. And then we've got a few people in their 20s. Mitchie, oh, I don't think anyone's seven years old watching this, to be honest with you. But if they are, I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying sometimes I do, like, throw an, an F-bomb here or there, and I'm not sure if... Like, for these streams, for example, I'm not sure if you um are able to tolerate that. But if you can, then that's fine. Pete's video, it's my stream, mate. I'm aware there are kids around, but they can handle few swear words here and there. It's not like, um, update the leaderboard. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. All right, so well done to all the goals. Finding your second win. It's between Mardo and all the goals. I actually wouldn't mind to see if he's still in chat. I'm not sure if he is or not, but if he's still in chat. Um, I thought my stream crashed for a second. I was scared. Did it crash? I don't think it did. I think it was just my OBS had a bit of a freeze. Um, all right, anyways, yeah. I appreciate everyone for sticking around. We'll go another one. Don't think we did crash, though. Do we give away one more prize or save it till the... Um I'll give away mystery prize for the next one. Why not? Mystery prize. Add a six spot for those who do a cult and hold time on the leaderboard and get the last one wrong. Saves his calm. Well, I, I'm not, this this could be anything. What I give away it might not be a wild card. I just I, I just want to see um, who ends up winning it. I'll give him something. All right, here we go. There's a spreadsheet. Let's do Bomber Hills one. Apparently, it's extremely difficult. So let's give it a go. And if you are new or have a friend that might enjoy these streams or just... Actually, I'm tempted to just continue stream for a little bit longer and just watch the ashes and just chill for a bit and not really care much about the viewers. I'd like to have a little bit of a read on what people think about that. If I do that, though, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play the quizzes. It could be too much work. All right, we'll, we'll do this one. It's gonna be impossible. A bit of an over exaggeration. It might be. It's not until eight forty. 
No, it's 10 10 here, so I don't know what you mean by that. All right, we're now playing Bomber Hills. I'll check how many playbacks the stream has gone. I'm not sure. Playbacks and streams as late have been poor. And again, that's pretty average as well. I don't. I think they've changed how playbacks work. To be honest. Definitely. They would have 100%. There's no way a stream that was getting so many views only got 3.4k. I reckon they've, they've definitely changed live stream playbacks. They're much more difficult to get views on live streams, like, as of a whole. Give me a minute. I'll uh, start this new one up. I'm going to have a look. Well, may maybe not then. Last year I had a similar stream that... Nah, but to be fair, that was a different one. So how many times did I do Kahoot streams last year? Only twice. I'm not too consistent with them at all. Make them really... um. Spontaneous. Views are just a one twenty nine as well. Ten subs away. That that was a sub goal from the start of the stream. It was a bit of an ambitious one. So if we get that, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, I need to get off my phone and actually get on back to the chat and interact. All right. And angle this as well. So it's like straight 400. Let's get there by the end of the stream. 970. Nine I'll join on my phone quickly. Everyone's somewhere prime. I, I don't mind it. It's all right. It's overrated a little bit though. I think it's more just overhyped. But I'd still drink it, especially the blue one and the um the ice pop flavor. They're all right. All right. What did I say? My name twice at the end of the winners. Um, I don't know actually. Okay, I don't even know what the fuck this is. Bomber Hill, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing, mate? What sort of a question was that? <laughs> what sort of a question was that? As if no one got the green one right as well. All right, we'll start again. And that was double points as well, which pissed me off more. What are these? What are these? Uh, I don't even know why I'm even questioning it. Why am I, Why is it in all capital letters and why is that the, the GIF that you decided to use? That's a glitch. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. Luke McMahon, who sat 18th in 2018. All right, I reckon if I can get all the remaining questions right, I'll finish first. If this is what Bomber Hill makes it out to be a really difficult, tough quiz, should be difficult and tough enough for me to make it out first if I can get them all right. Because there are a lot of questions as well. Is that Mark? 
I don't think he would have had his name in all caps. In fact, I don't even know if he's still watching this. Mark, if you're in chat again, he's not normally in my YouTube streams. Um, I don't know if we should watch this. Can you hear that? I don't think you can. No, luckily you can't. That's my first ever video. The cricket's been suspended. What do you mean by suspended? Like, it's actually like... Are they not going to play it at all now? <sighs> double points. Ah, oh, I need to get this one right. It's double points. Guess the player. Pick 23 in the 1988 draft. Walked from Vic to Canberra. Well, I don't know who walked from Vic to Canberra at all. But if it's a one club player, Kuda Fetis is my initial guess. What is that gif? Is that the A League? Is that like an Adelaide United? Yeah, I'm questioning it as well, to be honest with you, Kyle. I'm not going to lie. Ah, uh, fuck. It's not even. Oh, I just realized it's a two-time premiership player. I didn't read that. I didn't read that um, at all. Although, the Blues did win it in 1989 and 1995. So he could have still been a premiership, two-time premiership player. It doesn't matter. I got it wrong. Didn't read it. One more. Is this also double points? I'm screwed now because I got the one wrong. Um, Dermot Brereton. These are the worst gifts, to be f completely honest. They suck. They have no relation to the actual question whatsoever. I don't even know where you find these. It's genuinely scary. The slides is glitching up. Might actually just do the one more Kahoot after this, to be Bear with you. If there's no cricket on, like, I might just do the one more after this. And get a good three out of stream. Three and a bit hour stream as well going. Racing Brothers. Oh, yeah. So, the, the, the next prize will be, I guess, depending on who wins it, will depend on what the prize is. Has Carmen made a song? Not sure what this has to do with footy. I'm glad I'm playing this quiz now, not at the start. More people would rather these questions now than at the start. I'll send you a code on Insta and Discord. I won't need another one for tonight, but I'll need more for later streams, so yeah. Do I make a song? I could, like, technically I'd probably be capable of making a parody. It's just I don't want to, like, just rip off Caden. Like, that's sort of what he does. And I just want to rip, rip off his game. There's been a team where they lost a premiership due to trials or cheats. No, not a premiership, I wouldn't think. I don't know if that's worth double points though, Bomber Hill. I'm not sure at all if it's worth double points, but whatever. Whatever. And why are we waiting a minute for this? No, mushroom soup doesn't bloody count, mate. Alright, we'll skip it after 30 seconds. False is the answer. Cricket is on. You just told... Well, someone else just told me it was suspended. Who won the 1943 Premiership? Um, well, definitely not St Kilda or Richmond. It's between Carlton and Essendon. I'm going to go Essendon, but I really could be wrong. Oh, it was Richmond. I didn't think it was Richmond at all. I genuinely thought it was between Essendon and Carlton. Definitely not St Kilda. Climb on top. What time will that be in Vic? I'm not staying up till four in the morning to watch the cricket, I don't think. Mark says Richmond. Um, Geelong has the current record of the longest winning streak in one season. Do they? I think they do, actually. We're going to get true.
It might be Mark, but I'm not sure if Mark's name's in all caps, though. I don't think it's something Nike would do. No bombers. Who won the Brownlow Medal in 2012? I mean... Yeah. When you've got circle as an option there, you'd pick circle. I know Watson won it originally, but surely that... I know Bomber Hill made this quiz, but like, think about it. It wasn't Watson that won it. Fuck you, mate. Fuck you, Bomber Hill. He didn't win it, mate. I know he won it initially, but like... Take, come on, mate. You're a, just because you're an Essen fan, you can't get over the fact that they took the medal off him. Don't this one for the card. Oh well, I'm gonna end it soon anyway, so it's. I don't even know what it's gonna be. I could give away a deodorant can for all I know. It's Watson. Watson was the original winner. I I don't really care that though. I had a feeling it was going to have Watson as well. I didn't. And because of that, they've stubbed me badly. He was the first pick of the century in the draft. One club player. Cousins with a current AFL player. Oh. I mean, you spelt the player's name wrong. In fact, you spelt two of the people's names wrong in the options. Wasn't it Trent Koch and Sam Mitchell? <laughs> Yes, Mark, you're right, mate. Joe Watson was a cheap player. Even Mark knows more than you, Bomber Hill. That's hilarious. Yes, you are right, Mark. Um, now, the answer to this one will be Nick Rowan, unless he decides to go and give it to Jake Carlisle or some shit. Pretty easy one, especially with all the options. Like, if you gave more, like Luke Hodge an option, maybe that would have been more difficult. What was Hawthorne's old name? I wonder how many people actually know this one. I'm pretty sure I know it. Yeah, I'll see what else Mark has to say to people in the chat. Oh, King Dreamer. 15 bucks, mate. Appreciate it. It's the, definitely the biggest dono so far this stream. The Mary Blooms, or the May Blooms and Riversdale. I mean, I don't know why Essen was a... Like, you could maybe... <laughs> I reckon a lot of people would have not known this and just guessed, but these options are just too shit to actually be true. So of course no one's going to go for those ones. Yeah, I don't blame you, Skronky, at all. Guess this played, drafted in, eight, in 1968, played for North and Adelaide. Played for... He fucked this up badly. There's no way any... Did Malcolm Blight play for... I'm going to go Malcolm Blight, but surely he didn't play for Adelaide if he was drafted in 1968. The only option could be Malcolm Blight, right? Did he even play for Adelaide, though? I don't even know. Came back from work, and of course, I missed out on playing a game I cheat on. There are a few more... We might play one more game after this one. Is that true, though, that he played for Adelaide? He, he, I think he coached Adelaide, but he didn't... I don't know. I need someone to fact check that. Because I don't know everything. Racing Brothers on top. Well done. He coached... Yeah, I know. He did coach uh, Adelaide. And he coached the Saints as well. Who's currently number 17 for Geelong? Well, something like Joel Selwood. You searched up as well and he played for North and his last years were with Adelaide. Well, not a single person's trying to back me up in the um, in the chat, which tells me that it might not be the case. I'm not sure, though. All right, 16 out of 23. In what year did the VFL, AFL have the Brownlow Knight? First have the Brownlow Knight. Well, the, the first the first Brown in the middle was in 1924, I think. Yeah, okay, I got that one correct. It was a bit of a, a weird question, a weirdly, weirdly worded one, I reckon. 
Luke McMahon, top five. Yeah, it's the longest one we've done so far. Oh, that's what I would have imagined, the Jabber. Fuck if I know. 69. It's not probably not going to be 69, but I just feel like that's too many. Like 80 father sons feels like a lot. It's 21. What the F? 21 father sons are currently playing. Well, I got it right for some reason, but maybe that wasn't the actual answer. Huntsman. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guessed that. I only guessed it because it was a huntsman, but I don't think that was the actual answer. Yeah, I don't I don't think so either, Lockie. Miller, not Lockie Hill. It's glitching up. So that's the re that's the answer they make um make up now. But you got to do your your research. You got to fact check after and proofread your quizzes that you make. Pick forty five the nine nine three draft. Got to do this and re picked up. Two thousand one was a special year. I'll assume it was Moorcroft then. The Crows entered in nineteen ninety one. That's right. They even entered the late eighties. So there's not a chance that Malcolm Blight played for Adelaide. I just realised that. There's not a chance. There's no way he played 24 seasons. Yeah, and also, for, yeah, Essendon as well. I mean, he spelt the name wrong. It wasn't even Moorcroft's name. It's not how you spell it. I'm not going to lie. This has been a bit of an average quiz from Bomber Hill. I mean, some of it's been good. But some of it's been pretty bad. Like, what are the gifts that you put up? St Kilda have only recorded two premierships in their history. I mean, come on, mate. The, the title's extremely difficult. How is this dis extremely difficult? I, I reckon NRL fans could possibly get that one right as well. How have 25 people actually guessed true? What do you mean, CJ's the GOAT? I never said that Malcolm Blight played for Adelaide. That was the question that we saw previously, mate. Um, uh, I'm not sure if he was... I know it was a very late pick, but I'm not sure if he was pick 80. I went true, just, but I, I might have gotten that one wrong. Oh, no. Apparently he was right. Was he pick 80, though? I thought it was like pick 77 or 78, the, the high 70s, but I guess not. Got it right. Pick 79. Oh, I had a feeling it was 79, not 80. So I shouldn't have got that one right. Who currently holds the second longest time without winning a final? Second longest? You fucked it up again, mate. It's, it's not St Kilda, but I'm going to go St Kilda because I think you think it's St Kilda. It's Carlton. It's Essendon and Carlton. What the fuck? It's definitely not St Kilda. It was never going to be St Kilda. They won in 2020. The Dogs won a final in 2021. The Pies won a final in 2020. And Richmond obviously won a final and three flags before. Like, what the fuck, mate? This is shit. Complex. That's actually... I feel bad for the Racing Brothers because he's probably now going to lose a title. I might actually... Fuck it. I'm not going to give away a prize. Fuck that. It's not. It, I don't. I feel bad when you got questions like that. I really do. We had a professional football games played in the late. I have clicked on false, but he's probably going to be talking about like because obviously Australian rules football was originated in 1858, so he's going to everything to say true. Well, apparently not. It's a pit stake. Apparently, it's glitching up and all that crap. All right. Anyways, whatever. Last question. You can get a shout out if you want, but shout outs probably won't do you much justice right now. I'm not really sure what a shout out will do to you, but I'll give it a go. But you've got to get this one right, though. You might not get it right. Like, what the fuck's this question? How much teams in the AFL... It's just a terribly worded question.
Thank God that's over. Yeah, I tell you what, I might need to read through some of these questions or quizzes before I actually play them. Um, but then I don't want to because then I won't know. I'll have I'll actually know what to expect and it'll just defeat the purpose of myself playing it because I'll know all the answers. Now, Colin plays, wins it. The Racing Brothers finishes second. Probably deserved the win, to be fair with you, but it was a, a Colin plays victory that, regardless, you've got to respect. And just like... Well, God, if you're still in chat... I think you might be glad about this quiz because it makes your one not even seem as bad. I, I genuinely reckon this could almost be worse than the last one we had with you. Which quiz was worse? Goat HQs or Bomber Hills? Need to have a look at the summary. We'll, we'll play one more and maybe the last one can be for that prize. Um... They were both almost as bad as each other, so I don't blame either or the other for being the answers. We'll chuck Colin Play's channel link up. Alright. I'm not sure what we can get out of your uh, shout out, but we'll chuck your link in chat, Colm Play. So everyone go and check out Colm's channel. You made a perfect quiz. We'll play it for the next stream. I'm not going to play it tonight. I might play... Well, we've actually gone through quite a few of them, to be fair. I'll right, chuck the link in. Um, so let's have a look at the, the feedback. I'm going to have a look to see if Mark's still in the, um, so Ethan finished sixth, I finished 16th. We'll get the top five actually sorted real quick. This will be the last quiz. Probably the last quiz and I'll wrap up the stream unless I decide to do something else. But like it's it's been three hours now. Not like I've obviously streamed for longer, right? But it's just I haven't even had dinner yet and I feel like also having a shower and just winding down and maybe watching the cricket on my own. I could like watch it on stream because I don't mind some of these chats that we're having, but at the same time I need to get editing done and I might do the editing whilst watching the cricket if it's going to turn on whenever it does what was Bomber Hills quiz to Zach Jones it was a uh, yeah definitely a shocking quiz and an underwhelming one at that how does Graz keep making the podium I swear it's like the fourth time he's made the podium alright let's have a look to see what we got you guys can pick um, you know what I'll I'll play, have we played Luke McMahon's quiz? Are you still in chat, Luke? Let me know if we played your one yet. You for the uni assignment due tonight? Uh, well, I have a feeling this will be the last quiz, so you can get around to your uni assignment afterwards, if you are. Although, if I was in your boat, I say all this shit and won't get it done. You gained a few subs there, Colm, but to be fair, if you were um, on top at the start, you would have got more subs. Most people here know who you are and probably they already have subbed to you or don't or weren't going to sub to you regardless. If we haven't done Luke McMahon's, we'll do Luke's quiz and then we'll wrap it up. There we go. You're, you're jumping up a few more subscribers there, Colm. You'll take that, I reckon. Given how you've said quite a few times, and I know it's only like an extra nine, but you haven't been able to gain subs quickly at all. So that win will help you in some way, shape or form. Um, but yeah, the Racing Brothers, if you're in chat still, definitely unlucky not to get that win. 
All right, this is a 16 question one. Not bad. Not not a bad finisher for a for just a prize and all that in general. It's been a good stream. It's been a better stream for sure. I mean, all of Kahoot streams normally uh, get more viewers than normal. But still, um, I don't think the channel's back to where I think it should be yet. It's a good start up though. If we can maybe get to... If we can get to 20... What are we on? If we get no more subs by the end of the stream, that'll get my um, goal which would be pretty nice. Because then that would mean I would have gained around 115 subs today, which is just been difficult to be getting subs as of late. So that would definitely be the most I've gained in a little bit of time. Play will start at 11.15. The racist brothers. Well, to be fair, you put a T at the end of it and you, you can see it as that for sure. The racist brothers. Jesus Christ. I assume your last name is Rasik. You, your guys' last names. Do you know what I might do? I might do my next one on Monday night at UCAT's house. Why Monday night? Well, for starters, Monday night. I won't be able to do Tuesday because I'll be... Probably too busy heading back, especially with my flight that night as well. So yeah, Monday night, next week, I've got another stream that I want to test out. I think it'll be fun. Not a guarantee that it'll be done, but I think I'll have it locked in soon. I think that's Mark as well. Is that is that you, Mark? Are you in chat again? Yeah, school holidays as well, actually. I forgot about that. School holidays is next week. Which which means that... Well, it means that I can do the streams for a little bit longer because more people would stay on for longer. But it just means... Yeah, it'll be better off in general, I reckon. Um, all right, let's start. This will be the final quiz, guys. When do you leave Melbourne? Because I'm back in Melbourne next weekend. I'm in Melbourne all of this weekend, but next week I leave Sunday morning. Who coached you on before Chris Scott? Will you be at the game on, s on Friday, all the goals? Because I can get you the footy cards then if you want. Six packs. I yeah, will give away a small little minor prize. Probably not even worth it for a prize this late, but it won't be what it was going to be before because it's just not that many compared to the start. Number one pick, I think it was Des Hedlund. These questions are kind of long, like 30 seconds might be a bit too long for what we want. 20 is a perfect time, I feel. Look at the one right, I'm fourth. Didn't know not many people knew that. Only team to lose to West Coast this year. Fuck, I was going to do a video on that. I know that says all the goals. What videos can I do with no mic chrome for two weeks? We don't even know mic. Just use the one that you have already. I, I genuinely... If, if I was in your situation and had no microphone for two weeks, there wouldn't be many. I mean, to be fair, like the outdoor videos, I don't use this microphone, but... Without a microphone in general, I wouldn't wouldn't really do any videos. You probably have to do like some outdoorsy sort of videos. If, if that's sort of what you do, I'm not sure. Yep, 
You're going to Marvel first time next Saturday. You go to Melbourne quite often, actually, to be fair. Who's playing Port on the Saturday? Wait, next Saturday, you do realise that... Oh, you're going to the Bull... You must be going to the Bulldogs game. Because, yeah, Port are not playing Essen at Marvel. They're playing at the MCG. Speak of Port, Tom Harley played one game for Port. I feel like it's a... It's, a, it's true. I feel like it's true. Giants lost to West Coast in 2023. Yep, I did mark. I'm not sure this one. I'm just going to go false. Sorry, true. Is D Saints Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Cool. I'm on my track here. Tell you what, Luke Bigman's quiz. Drop one, even though I got it right. What team has scored the highest score so far this season? Um, Adelaide. Yeah, Adelaide against West Coast. Well, I'll be at the same game, Zay. I'll most likely see you on Saturday. Sports and stuff's back. Yeah, I'm not sure about the live reactions this weekend. I do want to get one game done. I always like to get one game done this week, but I'm just not really motivated to do as many anymore because they're doing really shit at the moment. So it's either Geelong v. Melbourne or Freer v. Essendon. They're the only two games I can do, but I could be either attending Geelong game. Yeah, I know. You might be like, why the fuck would you go to that game? Or doing shit with mates Saturday night. So whatever comes up. So if I'm, if I'm confirmed to do stuff with mates Saturday night, then I'll do it on Thursday. And vice versa. Who won the 1988 Brownlow medal? I know this from On the Couch. It ha it's, it's Jared Healy, isn't it? Because I always put up the little graphic. Jared Healy, 1988 Brownlow medalist. Guys, again, finds a way into the top four. I'm second. Just realise that. I've never actually ended a round on top, so this could be my chance in the last game. What was his win-loss record as coach? Um, oh, for fuck's sakes. I definitely got it wrong. I definitely got it wrong. Because I clicked on the option with one draw. Richmond have not just had the one draw. It would be the 170 wins, six draws, 131 losses. I have to hope the guy in front of me got, got it wrong as well. 29 got that one right. Only 8 picked the one I picked. And I just didn't look at the draws. I'm still only 5th. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. Is the next prize... To, oh, that's already given away to bloody... Who was it? Jordy. He'll be selling it on Facebook. Alright, this should be it. They, they won by one point against Freo and five against the Eagles, so that's six. <laughs> Mark, why do you keep answering the question on the ch in the chat so late? Ugh. Yep, correct. Come on, bump up a few spots. We're fourth now. Come on. Keep going. Damn, these questions are actually challenging. They're not too bad. I've gotten most of them right, though. What was the score in West Coast only win this season? Fuck. Um, West Coast only win. I don't fucking know if any of those scores are the only scores that... Ha like, I really don't think these are the right answers. I 
can't remember exactly, but I, was it red? Fuck me, I went yellow. Was it only 19? I swear they won by more, though. I swear the Eagles won by more. Fucking hell, I've just, I've just cost myself now. I don't know who our first ever coach was. So, and I know I'm a Saints fan, but how am I supposed to know my first? The team that I support's first coach. So I'm just guessing here. If I get it right, that might be helping me because I don't think many will know this one. Very valuable insight, Mark. Mark knows more than I do. Alex Hall. How did Goat HQ know that one? I knew it as well, but I'm not sure how Goat HQ knew it. Old Mac on YouTube. He'd be in the chat, you'd think, so he could win this one. 2010 Rising Star. It was Hanabry, right? Let's not drop on 100. We're on 100. Let's keep above 100. All the stream. If we can stay above 100 all stream, that's a success. Yeah, this is the last one, mate. Haven't really got much energy left in me to do more. Plus, I still have other shit to do after this stream. As I always seem to say, and sometimes never seem to do, Go to HQ makes it to the top five for the first time. How many games this season have both teams got over 100 points? I think four. Could be five though, but I'm pretty sure just four. Pretty sure just four. Pretty sure just four, maybe five. I'm pretty sure just four. Good question though. Yeah, all right, cool, four. If I were to tell you that games, I probably couldn't because I can't remember them. Yeah, which games? Geelong v Essendon, Geelong v Collingwood. What was the score in the first of a Sydney? Oh, a Sydney v Giants, that also was the game. And the other game, probably Mark knows, I don't, I, I don't know. Well, I'll probably do, but I can't think of it. How many games with Cahoots? A lot. Probably 12. We've gone through them pretty quickly as well. No, not much waiting. What team was a score? What team has scored the lowest scores so far this season? West Coast, surely. She's got the last five wrong. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't remember how many I've gotten right or wrong. I'm probably like still top 10, I'd say, because I've gotten most of them right, just a couple of them wrong, and a, and a bad one wrong as well. That West Coast v Giants one. Oh, yeah, Giants v Richmond as well. So the Giants and the Cats have both been involved in two 100-plus scoring games. Yeah, I know. I'm actually fucking sixth. Behind the, the this Zach Jones guy. So this guy's going to win it. He's going to bloody win it. Final score in the 1991 grand final. The only one that rings a bell to me would be... Green. I think it's Green. Not a chance 12 goals, 28, 100 would have been scored. Where you uh, win the game by 18 points, kicking one less goal than the opposition. Yeah, people know a lot more than me. I mean, I got it right as well, though. I'll climb into the top five, and if I can get the next one right, I'll stay in the top five to make it out all right, I guess.
with you on that one, Marks. <laughs> and I might order some Uber Eats. Oh, Uber Eats is so expensive, but I feel like a pizza. Can't be bothered cooking up anything at all. At all. Probably could have done it during the stream, but so no point. Choreo. I finished fourth. A lot of people got choreo wrong. Um, like when I, no, sorry, I, I meant when I did that stadium video, everyone's giving me shit for saying the name choreo wrong. Choreo, choreo. So I actually ended up finishing fifth there. I won't bother updating the, the leaderboard though. It's the last quiz. So Olmac, um, Wesley finished second. Well done. And Osley, Olmac on YT. So, I don't know if you're still watching, but just let me know if you are on Instagram or whatever. And I'll think of something. Think of some little mini prize to give out. Anyways, those I'll... Anyway, though, I'll wrap it up there. That was a pretty pretty good stream, I guess. Did all right. Um, we're building onto something. You know, as of late, the streams have done really shit. <laughs> shit how it's been, but um, yeah. It's been a better stream for sure, so I'll see you soon. Um, if not tomorrow, Thursday, but I'm most likely going to get a video out tomorrow.